This is the mind of Lorenzo Nell. Now take the floor, man. Hey, man. It's good. So what's your news that you got to tell you everybody? Know, just, you know. Yo, watermelon is really good. I haven't had one in a while. Really? Yeah. I, I, what you got to do is, like, buy watermelon for the house. Chop it, you feel me? Then you got two watermelons because it's in half, right? Yeah. And then, like... You know, like, take one half and just chop it up. You know what I'm saying? Chop, 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 chop. Like, little be cooking dishes. <laughs> just Chefing it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then put it in a container and put it in the fridge. And just eat it from time to time. And it'll give you energy throughout the day. That's natural energy. No coffee. No tea. Yeah, no, no coffee, no. I mean, yeah. No coffee, no soda, no no nothing. Or soda don't give you energy. I'm stupid, but... Soda yeah, gives just, you that little bit of burst of energy. Yeah. Actually, no, that's a mess, No right? five-hour energy. Oh, uh, no none like of that. sugar, just sugar. Straight, yeah. Straight watermelon, bro. Huh. Is that like an actual fact? I, it's a Renzo fact. If it's not a fact, I made it a fact. It's I'm a fact now. Nah, but fruit, like, fruit gives you energy, though. That's true. It just, like, revitalizes Fruit is life. You. you know what I'm saying? It's deep. <laughs> you, need, you need living fruits for a living body. Bro, that's You're, true. You look so amazed. <laughs> bro, because I'm, like, exploring your mind right now. <laughs> I feel like a psychologist, <laughs> and this is like what your mind's doing when you're just sitting there, and it's just like you ever like like I'm talking to you, but I'm thinking about something else. Really? What yeah. are you thinking about? A, like a couch, like a red couch. Why? The the couch from um, Blue's Clues. Oh. The seat that he sits in. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, y'all oh, remember when? Yeah. Um, y'all remember when when uh when the when the when Steve left is that yeah, his name? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then his brother came in. It was yeah. his brother. Yeah, that was like the worst day of every child's life. Yeah, no, nah, that was Bro, bullshit. I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that day too, like yeah. w- like turning it on and then seeing that it, it was wasn't like, him. "Yo, I'm out." Yeah, he was, like, he was going huh? to college or something. And we were yeah. like, "No, nah, you aren't." <laughs> That's bullshit. Whatever happened to that actor? I don't know. I for I seen something a long time ago on Bad? Instagram. Like nah, he wanted to be like a like a musician or something like that. Okay, and he was he like he didn't want to just be viewed as that guy as Steve from Blue's Clues. He yeah. wanted to like make Some, his own legacy into something else. Something like that. Probably a good move. You know who got one of the greatest legacies ever though? Um, mm-hmm. the Wiggles, cause they got that fruit salad yummy yummy song, and <laughs> that that's a banger. Bro, I I was always jaded against watching that as a kid. I never yeah, wanted to. watch I didn't the either, but like getting older, I was like, wow. I think we missed out on something special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what was that? The generation below us that had it or what like, you know, two thousands babies? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I was born in ninety eight, so I can't really say too much, you feel me? I pretty much am a two thousands child. I hate to say that, but I am too. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. We got like the end of the night. Like I watched Rocket Power and yeah, like, that yeah. type of stuff. Yeah. So I feel yeah. like we got like a little bit of the 90s. Like I still yeah, watch like Rugrats. Piece of it. Yeah. But like, yeah, I don't know. Rugrats is fire, though. That's gas. You hear about Slaps. that they're doing like a revamp or something? Oh, no. This shit, yeah. Corny. Yeah. Corny. I've seen the animation it. for it. Yeah. What's your opinion Garbage. on just like, not just remaking shit, but like bringing a new twist to it, like Fuller House? I hate it. It's corny. Make something else Fuller up. House, Raven's Home. Yeah. Yeah. Corny. That's what this era it, is. Full House, we already get the reruns like all day long for years and years and years. They will never stop making money. We yeah. don't need Fuller House. Garbage. But Netflix And it, one of them it. is not there. Really? One of the, the cast members. One of the oh, sisters? I thought like, none of them was in it. I think it was the youngest one. Oh, really? Mary Michelle. Kate, whatever. Oh, yeah. Who? Michelle. Oh, I don't... I don't know. Yeah, I, I didn't yeah, know. One of them is it definitely was Michelle. <laughs> I used to love Full House. Yeah. Which one's Michelle? It was like the kid, like the youngest kid. Right? Oh yeah. No, the, not the youngest. She kid. was like the oh. oldest one. No, she was the baby. The baby. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So she ain't there. Wasn't but that just, both like, sisters? That's, though? It's corny. Yeah, I feel that. Imagine if like, like Fresh Prince came back. So. Like with the original actors. So Uncle Phil. Sorry, I don't think that can... Oh, he died. Yeah, yeah that sucks. He's, that, like, dead now. He's that's not the alive. only way that... That's crazy. Yeah. But, like, nah, you know what I heard, though? Like, Fresh Prince, but, like, bring it in with Will Smith as, like, the uncle and, like, uh, what's his son's name? Jaden Smith? Jaden Smith. That, like, oh, that'd be crazy. That'd be cool. I would want to see that. Yeah, yeah I, really I was about to say, yeah, Jaden would be the fine. only person that I'd want to see as that role. Yeah. yeah. No other person can play that. 
But it, that, then again, it would that would be yeah, it would be a spinoff. It wouldn't really be. <laughs> Maybe a spinoff, but like at least yeah. you would like the actors in it. Yeah, I think. What is it called? Reamps. Yeah, something called. like yeah, that. Yeah, it's very corny. Every time it happens, it's corny. What's like? Can we even name one good reamp? I feel like there's gotta be. But nah, not King Kong when uh, Peter Jackson made it. Oh, that's true. I've never seen it. Nah, with Jack Black. Nah, oh. that, that was legit. <laughs> that was entertaining. <laughs> yeah. it was, but like Peter Jackson's like Word. a guest director. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. I don't know. dude, I don't even watch anything anymore. What about when they take books and then like they make a book into a movie? They've I mean, done yeah. that with a lot. Yeah, like that's normal though. Yeah, very true. But like no one reads the book. Like I don't uh, read the book. I don't read the book. Think about Hunger Games. Some of them, so. some of them yeah. I do. I'm a big reader though, so I guess that's like. Nah, I yeah, like reading all. What about Twilight for you? Cause you. All you right. Read. Well, like we won't bring that up, but like <laughs> Twilight was okay when I was in like eighth grade. The book was better. It was. Yeah, of better. course. Like yeah. with everything, I think. I feel like I think the I book like the is always better. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like I don't slap. want anybody <laughs> touching Dr. Seuss anything because they always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that Mike like, Myers, the cat in the hat, that used to scare the shit out of me. Like, right, oh, yeah. Did you just say Michael Myers? Yeah, like, well, like, like yeah, how yeah, just the way it came out. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, oh, bro, garbage. I, and I didn't watch it. You didn't watch it? I just bro, know it's gonna happen. Nah, that's what yeah. I've been saying this whole time because yeah. like they already made like eight of them. Like yeah. you gotta stop. We like we don't need it. He should have been dead. Like, I don't care. So supposedly, like. I, I just watched like a whole thing on the Halloween series and this one is actually a sequel of the first one. They're getting rid of the storyline of everything from two through like six or whatever. So Michael has on, like the only thing is that he disappeared after he fell out the window and that was it or something like that. They finally got him but I understand people don't want to see another uh, Halloween. Yeah, it's, it's only just, for the stands. It's, it's so much. Right? Like how much yeah. can you just bring people back? Just because y'all don't want to acknowledge the storyline or get rid of some movies doesn't mean the fans will do that. Like, what about the Star Wars brand new, like the new trilogy? Never, never watched. Never <sighs> tuned in. That's rough. That's rough. Star Wars is. Bro, I'd be in bed like I don't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a long. I heard, I heard something like if you watch all of them like back to back, it takes like three days or something. Like all of them. So now like they have newer ones too. The Kendrick Lamar damn album. You just get different concepts. Yo, you you talking about it. how like you listen to it forward and then backward. People thought like you had to play each song backwards. I thought that was like dumbest. you had to reverse yeah, yeah. the songs. <laughs> like, <No. laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Someone probably spent like time in like Pro Tools or something reversing the audio. Yeah, it's on YouTube or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's type creepy. Reverse music is like creepy as hell. Oh, they got some from like the rock and roll days that I just don't want to replay. Yeah, I don't either. It's like they call it Satan's language. Just speaking like, backwards. It makes sense yeah. or whatever, but yeah, that's weird. That is. I tried to play one of my songs backwards. What did it sound like? It didn't sound like anything. <laughs> but I was just imagine if you hear something. I was reading something. It's called backmasking. I was reading something about it, and pretty much like our brains take on like certain patterns. So mm -hmm. we we might not even be hearing anything, but because we're on YouTube and we're looking at comments, and then you play it back, and it's like, oh, this person did say like whatever, whatever, you know. Who knows? It could be real. It could not be real. But I I think it's kind of real. Like I don't think it's coincidental for no reason, you know. Yeah, like, especially, there are just some signs that are like, how is this not coincidental? Yeah, like, or, I'll be looking through it too much, and I've been looking at it for, like, years. The creepiest shit ever, dog, um, is, uh, I feel like dying by Wayne reverse. That's the creepiest shit in the world. I feel like I've heard that. More. Wow, I know, i would never heard of reverse, but I know that, like, I yeah. feel yeah. like that. Yeah, I used yeah. to love that song. What, what does yeah, it say? Yeah, it was a banger. It, Something like we're down beneath you or some shit like that. Oh, uh, yeah, like no. <laughs> yeah, nah, bro, not with it. No, they do the same thing with like that, that Beatles song. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the, yeah. it's like says so like John is dead or some some like bullshit. But like, oh. I feel like that's just oh, people no, like wasn't pulling it things Paul together. Paul is dead. Paul is dead. Yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. You, do you know the whole backstory to the album cover of Abbey Road? So mm -hmm. so supposedly. Um, Paul, it, so he has his shoes off and he's like symbolizing that he's like the dead guy and like each of them are a different character and like you said, where yeah. they say Paul is dead, like 
if there's something, I think he's a lefty, or it's, he's holding a cigarette in the opposite hand of the way... It's supposed they, to be, like, impersonator. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, someone yeah. not really Paul, but, like, pretending to be Paul, and, like, that, like, that's I deep. Know. I look too far into it, though. Like, I feel like you can just draw, like, connections. Bro, they be trying to tell us stuff, man, and we not, we not paying attention, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Or we don't get it, because the symbolism just, you know, we just don't comprehend it. Do they try to tell you it because they know they can't say it just straight out loud, and they have to, like, transfer it in a way that is encrypted for their label not to, like, I mean, I would say, it? I would say that. But then I would also say they do put it in our faces, like a lot. Like there's a lot of stuff they they put in our face. Not even just like music, but just entertainment. <clears throat> period. Just you know, Hollywood just has a lot of signs and symbols everywhere about a lot of like corrupt things. Like the the isn't it Fantasia that has some Illuminati stuff? Like everybody got some Illuminati <laughs> stuff. But then it's like it's like they don't. It, it's weird because Illuminati is not what you think it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. just the word alone, like, uh, Illuminati. To be in the Illuminati would not be a bad thing. But because people think, oh, it's this devil-worshipping, blah, 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 then it's like... What know, about Freemasons? Our perception of it is crazy. Um, I don't know much. I don't know anything, actually, about Freemasons. I don't know. Freemason. Like, I haven't looked I just, into when it. I, when you say that, I think of Jay-Z. <laughs> because that's what it... That's what they link him to. Really? So, yeah, that's they, probably they why they... say that he is, like... Top tier, like Illuminati, mm -hmm. Illuminatian, because the the Rockefeller um, symbol, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? When you, when you throw the diamonds Everybody up, else, yeah, yeah, which is you know, it's crazy because there's um, there's a Jay Z album with him doing that on the cover. Really, it's black and white. I think it's called La Familia or something like that. It was like a dynasty album, mm -hmm. like Beanie Siegel, Emil, like I think Memphis Bleak, like. I want to say it came out in 2000, but I, I remember having that CD and like looking in the booklet and like mm -hmm. seeing the hand symbols and shit. It's just crazy, bro, because everyone does it. Like everybody has like some weird connection to this fucking conspiracy that we don't know. I don't know. It could be real. It could be just put here to scare us. But like even if it's put there just to scare us, like why... Do some shit like that. Like, there has to be something behind There's it. There's reasoning behind everything. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. So, do you like conspiracies other than that one? Hell yeah. So, what are some big ones that you, could like, dove into? That Simpsons shit, bro. Mm, I know what you mean. Yo, deadass, I'm waiting for Donald Trump to die. Because it was in The Simpsons. I know. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> like, Let's hope, bro. Right? And I don't give a fuck about thing. Donald Trump, but, like... I don't give a fuck about what that nigga be saying, nothing, but... Yeah. Yeah, I seen that shit, bro. Simpsons <laughs> predict too much, but it, there's like a theory or but something. But see, it's not a prediction, because who knows, like, these people be working with people and, like, be getting told to, like, put shit in cartoons, put shit in songs and movies and books and, you know, music videos, wear this shirt, you know what I'm saying? Niggas in, in music videos rapping behind green screens and shit. You don't know who's editing your music videos, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. Like, or maybe you do know, and you don't care. Because I feel like a lot, like, you got people like Uzi Vert who just kind of it, throw it out there. It. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, this is me. Mm -hmm. I got the upside down cross on me and the mm -hmm. mark of the beast or whatever, which that's a whole nother conversation also. Because we get told that a lot of symbols are bad and a lot of numbers are bad and they're not. I was just talking to someone about that the other day. I was just talking about this in the car on the way here. <laughs> yeah. So are you saying like numbers like 666 really aren't bad? That's not. I think people but just draw connections. If you, if you want to, I'll tell you this. Everybody got the mark of the beast already. And I'm not even going to tell him what I told you in the car. But everybody here got a smartphone. You, 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 ever, um, you ever dug into like like numerology or sacred mm -hmm. geometry. I'm gonna sound like I know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I probably don't know shit. Okay. <laughs> but, so like, every phone, right, looks just like that. Like the numbers are in that order. What's one plus two plus three? Six. And then what's, what's, um, what's four plus five plus six? Nine plus 15. But what's one plus five? Six. And then seven, eight, nine is like twenty-four. Two plus four is six. 
everybody has the mark of the beast. You feel me? There's some there's some shit in the Bible where like um they say like you have the mark of the beast like on your hand or like near your head and that's where we hold our phones. Yeah, I, I got into that conspiracy. I thought that was creepy. That like, is damn. Weird. So do you think what about the whole like Snowden situation and how like we were talking about people, um, what what is it like monitoring all your yeah, devices? Yeah, they can like peep at you through your shit. Oh, I mean, like, they I can, have that. They can go through your private right messages here. and stuff. That's real. No, it is real. Like yeah. that's not even conspiracy <laughs> at this point. But that like real. they said after like you released that, like Obama was like, nah, like we stopped that. But like they said they stopped that while it was going on. So like I really don't think they did. Like yeah, not nah, they. They think people are fucking retarded. Yeah. We, like we're really not that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know, man. It's like... I have no words for it, bro. I just don't have any words for this shit. This shit started making me depressed, bro. Just looking at the big picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I want to say, like... Like, when I left religion, like, that's the shit that, like, really got to me. But it, I don't think it was leaving religion. It was, like... I don't know. It was just like, damn, yo, niggas been doing this for years and years and years and years and years. And they're gonna and do it for years and years. Brainwash, dude. Like, but that term gets thrown around so loosely and shit. Brainwash. Like, yeah, brainwash, government, Illuminati. Like these things don't get taken seriously because of how much they they're thrown around. And if it looks stupid, you won't believe it. Mm -hmm. But everything looks stupid. And we believe it. Like, we believe in racism. That's the stupidest shit in the world. Fucking racism. It's look not. at my color and look at your color. And we're fucking chilling. Yeah. Take the idea of racism out of kids' minds and there will be no racism. Yeah, that's what, like, Morgan Freeman said in that interview. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's true, it's just, though. Yeah, it's crazy. You grow, you you are born with love. Mm -hmm. People yeah, that's the highest hate. vibration that you could ever be at. Yeah. Hate and greed and lust and that, that lowers your vibration, spiritually. Yeah. So, you know. You can never truly assume. Honestly, though, I want to know the first person who looked at a, at a black person like, yeah, nah, you can't fuck with us. Like, you're not sitting at the cool table. You can't <laughs> like, fuck you. You're black. And then, boom, like, and just <laughs> racism starts yeah. and fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that, that just doesn't, it's some shit from afar bro that we don't know you know what i'm saying like just to think about how how like it, what the 60s was fucking terrible man and now it, mm. like and it's 2018 and it's yeah. still not good yeah. like you still have and all this shit we're happening progressing bro we're not i don't care about a black president bro we're not progressing just as people period but that's my opinion mm -hmm. you know what i mean because like like, it's weird, man, because I don't really believe in, like, a lot of the worldly ideas, fucking politics and shit like that. Like, I, I hate it. I feel like it just... You don't want to conform? Not even that. I just feel like it's here to make people confused and make them feel stupid. And inferior? Make them, Yeah, make them feel smaller. You know what I mean? Like... They're down here and everybody else yeah, is up here. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, why? You know? Yeah. There's just, dog, this shit could go on for for years, dog, decades. But you don't think, like, our generation's better, like, as a whole? Because I feel like our generation <laughs> cares less about, like, stuff like racism or, like, you know, like... There's all of the, the, At the same time, we do. Like, it, there's, like, a crowd now for everything. Yeah. Like, in every aspect. Like, even, like, if you say music, like, there's just, like, a... A lane for everybody to be in everybody can make it you know what i'm saying it's like that with everything but i feel that i don't know it's like we're worried about shit and not worried about shit at the same time and anything i feel like a lot of the things that we are worried about we don't have to be worried about because mm -hmm. it's not important you know what i mean but we hold it to such a high importance and like, like we need to do it like is anybody in here homophobic no so why should we be going around beating up gay people and trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, they want to fucking be married and, like, whatever. And we feel like we need to... 
like it's affecting about that. Like, our it, yeah, life. it does not affect us at all, and we want to be worried about that type of shit. Like, there's so much shit going on, dude. Yeah. And we're worried about, like, that <laughs> shit does not make sense, bro. It doesn't make sense. But, like, we're going to keep worrying about the shit that doesn't do anything for us personally, you know, or just mm-hmm. for the community. Like, there's a gay nigga down the street. Who gives a fuck? Let that nobody live should. His life. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's, I don't know. It's stupid. But, like... That's the world we live in, man. Yeah. I don't know, man. We be so worried about, like, the truth and shit. Like, nobody knows the truth, bro. No one knows what really happened. Like, ever. It's, you could get close, like... Like, that's one thing I don't like about the conscious community and people that are conscious and shit. Like, all they do is argue with each other. Niggas get on live streams and shit and just argue, argue, argue like you know the truth, like you were there. You know what I'm saying? You don't know anything, bro. Like, we're all guessing. You know what I'm saying? We all, like, research shit or, like, you know, uh, go travel and find out shit and try to figure out the answers. But, like, if we're getting closer to, you know the truth we shouldn't be arguing with each other we should be sharing the facts hey i found this out you found this out let's you know compare it let's yeah. look at it and try to get like work together to make it uh, like actually figure it out yeah it's dumb niggas want to argue and then because like that's what started happening when i started when i left religion i started getting into the conscious shit started getting into like david banner and r.i.p prodigy which I wouldn't count him, but it was just people like that that were, like, teaching me shit on a different level, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, being your mentor. Just how, how, yeah, how we should live, you know what I'm saying? The things we should uh, stay into, stay away from, whatever. And um, I started, like, seeing a lot of people, Brother Polite, Dr. Umar, all these people, and then I would see videos about them, like, oh, this guy's a fake, and he's this, and he's that. And then I just started seeing, like, the more I got into conscious communities like the more i just started seeing more of the people who are like a part of it i would see more videos of like people shitting on them and i was literally just talking to somebody about this the other day like there's always something bad about something good Mm -hmm. like it's just crazy like you could drink water all day but it's like nope it has fluoride in it like you know what i'm saying oh it shouldn't be in a bottle like (laughs) you know what i mean so wasting that plastic it's bro like there's no fucking truth like there is and there isn't Everything is and it's not at the same time. Like, it's okay, but at the same time, if you look at it in a different, like, schematic, a different picture, it's not okay. Yeah. Like, so, I am very convinced that we need both yin and yang because it just creates this balance. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what perfect is, you know what I'm saying? Like, not perfect being 100% good, but being good and bad. Because and we need both the balance to, of it. Yeah. yeah. Because... We, yeah, it's like you can't overindulge in the good because then you won't, you'll lose grip of reality and not mm-hmm. be able to see the bad for the good. Yeah. Deep, bro. That's wild. That's it's quiet as fucking here. <laughs> yeah, that's mine's thinking. Like, Yeah, for real. It's dope, though. I don't get to do this a lot. Yeah, no, exactly. It's a, well, alone. It's an open palette time. for you to just speak your mind, bro. Yeah. What else is in there? I don't, I don't know. You just went off on a good ass rant. Um, some fucking music. I went through all my beats, bro. I got like six hundred beats. You went through all of them. Yeah, organized them and oh, shit. Oh, finally, yeah. Did. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to figure out like what I wanted to sell, what I wanted to keep. Yeah. What I wanted to like use for future projects. Like I have a folder where it's like beats that I'll probably never release. It's just shit like just for me, cause. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll be in the studio bored, tired, whatever. I just listen to shit on my own. Yeah. It's just like all pretty ass chords and shit. Like, that's all I want to hear. A nice like, <laughs> instrumental. Like, no in the drums yeah. and shit. Like, just, yeah, so. I kind of do yeah. that with, like, not my beats, but with, like, lo fi beats. Just put it in my ears, walk to class if I don't want to hear it. Like, I love lo fi. Yeah. Lo fi, man. It's, it's. I got some fire lo fi shit in the vault. Right. I got, like, some trap lo fi, bro. Oh my god. Trap lo fi. Yeah. I like the sound of that. You just gotta, you know, use like the same like effects that mm-hmm. the lo fi users would use and like, you know, just put a little little trap twist to it. Hmm. It's dope. It's dope as fuck. No, I could see that being interesting. Yeah, nah, it's dope as shit. It has a little spin on it. Yeah. But that's all I do, man. I went through all of them shits and like 
but now like I'm re-going through them because mm-hmm. now I'm trying to figure out like okay now I know what I want to use but I have like different like tape ideas and shit I sort of got I got like five ideas for right. tapes yeah like I always do what can you tell us uh, that I want to work on like an EP type of thing and release it at the end of the year mm-hmm. but that might not happen maybe I'll just release singles yeah um I recorded some rough drafts today, like three or four of them. That's dope. You know who Jiggy Joe is? He was on the album. Yeah, he was on Dreamers. Yeah, yeah. And we made a song called My Type of Vibe. Um, yeah, I sent him something today. He's nice. I was watching... Um, actually, I wasn't watching it. It just kind of came on. The Boondocks. My <laughs> favorite cartoon of all time. Because Huey Freeman is Jesus. Um, <laughs> Yeah, some shit came on. There's an episode called A Huey Freeman Christmas. And um, he was trying to, like, he was, like, creating a play for the school Mm -hmm. called Black Jesus or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. And, like, there's a scene of him, like, typing on the computer and shit, like, late night. And the piano in that scene was fucking beautiful. Really? And I sampled it and made a beat, set it to Jiggy all today. I recorded it and shit. Was tight. Nah, that, that's a genius <laughs> idea. Yeah. You could literally hear him typing. Like, I, I literally took it from the video. Like, That's dope. Because the piano's probably rare as fuck. There's yeah. mad shit from cartoons and, like, video games that's, like, really rare. And I can't rip it nowhere. Yeah, that's what we've been that doing. That makes with me, our, like, very sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, TJ, the, yeah. the one that was here for the first interview. Yeah. Uh, he actually lives with us. And he, he has his little studio back there. Where? And we'll, like, hear, like, something from a game or a mm-hmm. movie. And he'll be go on his computer, look it up, and try to find the, like, little clip for it. And, like, and then, It's been working lately. It's, the bro, first there's some times. shit from Hey Arnold that is beautiful. Ooh. I fuck with Hey Arnold too. I That's another good hey like 90s one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like I didn't watch I'm it still, yo, I'm giving niggas gems, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Yo, dude, there's a there's an episode called Summer Love. Mm-hmm. And like it it's this scene where like Arnold's at the beach with some chick, they're like laying down on a on like beach blankets and shit, like talking to each other, like intimately or whatever. Yeah. And the music in that scene is fucking insane. And it's nowhere. <laughs> I actually right. found a profile with like mad Hey Arnold shit, like rare Hey Arnold shit. But didn't find that. Like it doesn't have no subscribers, no views, like like rarely any subsi- subscribers or views. And like I tried to find it, like literally it was hundreds of videos. I went through every single one, it was not there. Oh, that blows. I was, I was hurt. <laughs> I found some cool shit in it, but like. Not that song. That was the greatest shit, dude. It's Can so you great. find the episode? Like, yeah. Like full episode and then just like illegally download it? Well, like, they're talking in the scene, oh, so like right. I can't get just yeah. the instrument. Yeah, it. Yeah, we had an issue with that. <laughs> we I was trying to get like a sample from the the Alice in, like the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland movie, mm. and like we found I looked through for so long to find just like her saying like not even a beat behind it, but like her saying something. Yeah. And every video just had like not even music from the movie in it. They just like put music in it, and I was like, it took me like two hours to find like one without like the actual or like with the actual like sound and, and then everything. it was like a 20 minute video or something yeah you had to it, download. yeah it was it was ridiculous it's hard out here for these samplers samplings like an shout out jay devil though jay devil yeah. is the greatest sampler of all time and um probably doom them if doom they have great samples but dilla is like too much dilla is beat doom. jesus yeah like he's his shit is just like the smoothest, uh-huh. like, just, like... You feel like certain people are just blessed with it? Mm-hmm. Like, I really do think, like, God just picks certain niggas to be great. Like... Like, you have the talent. Yeah, like, fuck these other niggas. Like, yeah, they got talent, too. We ain't gonna leave y'all out, but this nigga right here, like, he got it. Yeah. And that's Dilla, bro. Like, he fucking... Oh, my God, yo. Like, Dilla is amazing. I can't even put it in words, yo. I was watching this thing called um, What's in My Bag. It's like mm-hmm. musicians go in the record store and shit and then like pick oh. shit out and then they talk about it. Yeah. And like somebody's, I, I forgot who it was. This old white dude. He was talking about like, he grabbed like a Dilla vinyl or some shit like that. That is so cool. And he like almost like went into tears talking about it. 
And I was like, yo, I feel you, bro. Like, yeah, because <laughs> you made like, you yo, feel. I feel you, bro. Yeah. But it's crazy, man, because, like, his shit, I mean, like, just looking at it now, man, just with all the technology we have and shit, like, it's so simple to, you know, Drop even just remake up. it or whatever. Yeah. But, like, and don't get me wrong, there's only one fucking Dilla. It don't matter. I've even made shit inspired by Dilla and whatever. And But, like, I don't know, man. It's, it's fucking simple, but it's, it's, like, exactly where it needs to be. Mm-hmm. Like, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's like, it doesn't need to press you too much. There's no, like, craziness, but it, it gets you on the train and you go for the ride the mm-hmm. entire time. Yeah. That's Dilla for you. Yeah. What's your favorite Dilla beat? You got one? I mean... I think my favorite Dilla project is the fucking Fantastic Volume 1, the Slum Village album. Because his shit up there is crazy. And some shit he did for um, Busta is, like, insane. Yeah, I could see that. Um, it's, it's fucking hard to tell, man. Um, I think that my favorite one was Life. Mm, X rapped over that. Really? Yeah, some, called, some song called Hate Will Never Win or something like that. Huh. <gasps> Yeah, it was off. He did. Um, he did. Yes, he did. What was the Christmas Carol? Christmas Carol. Yeah, yeah I remember yeah, when that, that shit project. dropped. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. I'm gonna have to go back and listen to that. Never mind me while I sit and pretend to make a man. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was a Dilla beat. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. cool. Did he get like? Rights? But no, that that's actually um, um, that's a Proof song. Eminem's best friend, mm-hmm. the rapper Proof. That was in um, D12. R.I.P. Proof. That was his beat. Really? Well, not like his beat, but you know, because Dilla made it. But yeah, yeah, hmm. he rapped over that. That was his song. I'm gonna have to listen to that too. Yeah. Bro, I need to listen to a lot of some old school stuff. I've 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 done my stuff with Nas, and you know, looked at a little bit of Dilla. I've bro, get out of rap, bro. Listen to like some funk. Bro, I haven't listened to funk. I I like jazz, but I haven't gone into. The I funk love yet. funk. That's all I heard growing up, dude. That's Funky shit, groovy shit, like Parliament, James mm-hmm. Brown. Is that Lewis like Reddy. 80s? Yeah. Yeah. There's a song called Flashlight by Parliament. You've probably heard it too, mm-hmm. like in a movie or some shit yeah, or I a bet. commercial. You've definitely heard it. Mm-hmm. I, nigga, that's all my grandparents played. That's all my grandfather played. Mm-hmm. Like as a kid, I remember. I like, remember you house telling parties me that. And yeah. shit, dancing to that shit. Like, it was lit. Bro. There's a lot of people that like I haven't like dove into their music, but I just from that are legends now that yeah, I just yeah. need to go back and listen to mm-hmm. from multiple like genres, generations. Just yeah. like, there's so much music, bro. I hate when people like like just stay in that like in one genre, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't care what it is. Like you should never stay in one genre. Yeah. you get so much stuff like from like different artists different musicians you have different moods at times too yeah it's fucked up bro cause like even with rap like just having like a negative energy towards it and mm-hmm. nobody listens to rap like I've heard people say like I was watching a video of somebody saying they didn't want to sell their beats because of like the type of lyrics that would be put on their beats which is very understandable but Makes it's sense. like damn dude not everybody's like that mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like I didn't there could be rap music that. that'll fit your liking you know yeah, you just gotta pick the artist, the right yeah. artist for it. Yeah. But they, that shit is so oversaturated. So we're like, we could look at a genre and think that's all there is um, from the genre. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So if people think rap music is just sex, money, hoes, clothes, then, yeah. you know what I mean? You'll never come across like something different. You'll never come across J. Cole, J. Cole or, yeah. you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because you think rap is Lil Uzi. Yeah. That's and that, not even that is bad, but it's just like, you know, people that just have that, um, you know, opinion on it. It's like, yeah, yeah, it just sucks, dude, because like music's so fucking broad, like, you know, it's I think the craziest thing is that there is new music being made every single day. Yeah, like literally every somebody's different recording genre. in their bedroom yeah. right now. Yeah. That's so tight. Yeah. That's cool. I was recording earlier. Yeah, and you were just here. another person recording in yeah. their bedroom. <laughs> or yeah. you were in the garage, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's dope. 
That's what I'm saying crazy. though. Like people like like I get hate from it because like I don't, I like I'm I'm pretty selective about what I like. Like I like music from all different genres, but like at the same time, if it comes to rap, I really like like lyricism stuff. And I know that's not like a new thing, mm-hmm. but like the way like Joyner Lucas is like brought yeah, in the game. That's like exactly what I when, I, when I listen, yeah, exactly. Like, when I listen to his music, like I want to hear a story. Like I want to yeah. hear like the broad spectrum. I don't want to hear like like I get why people like the like trap rap. That's mm-hmm. just gonna be like. If you're at a party, like, I get it, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? You just want to, like, bump to something. But, like, I want to listen to some content. Yeah. And, like, you can find that in, like, so many different genres. Like. Yeah. It just depends, though, even, like, when you say party. Because there's a lot of party music that ain't trap music. Oh, yeah, no. That's where you get, like, Neptunes and shit, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Because yeah. if somebody play frontin' at a party, it's lit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If somebody plays Milkshake by Khalees, it's lit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's yeah. a lot of party music that's not trap. And even when I was, like, like doing a few projects, I was like, damn, what the fuck should I play? Like, mm-hmm. cause nobody likes the 2000s shit. Nobody like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's weird. So then I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just doing me. Yeah. But I don't know, bro. There's like something for everybody. Like I said earlier, mm-hmm. there's a lane for everybody to just like be themselves and just win. Like, you know, whether you think it's corny or it's the coolest shit in the world. Cause like, I don't know. I love lyricism too and stories and shit and, mm-hmm. But then, like, Chief Keef and that Playboy Cardi song, uh-uh, is the hardest shit. I don't know why. And playing it slowed down. Music slowed down is fucking crazy. Yeah. Everybody stop smoking weed. Just listen to music slowed down. And stop drinking and stop taking fucking mollies and shit and Percocet. Because that shit'll get you high, bro. Okay. I that shit'll get you high as fuck. Don't do drugs, do music. <laughs> Just slow down music. Or do both, whatever. Do the fuck you want to do. That nigga's not gonna listen. <laughs> Everything except those pills. Don't do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> this shit crazy, man. I love music slowed down. Yeah, no, that's an interesting. I just put her on the music slowed down. Huh. And it's just like, what do you, is half speed or like 75%? What? I, I don't know. Just whatever sounds right. I, I, I take a song and drag it in the FL and just like stretch it. Mm-hmm. Usually they like, just you know change the pitch like and the tempo. Half speed or somewhere around like he was saying seventy five percent. Usually sixty is like perfect for any song. That's yeah, I don't know. I just usually do, I don't pay attention to the percentage. I just like just go with the feel. Yeah, like every song. Like there's a song um, "Wish" by Trippy. I don't like the original. What but slow down <laughs> is fucking crazy. Lil Uzi Vert's twenty minutes slow down is crazy. Uh uh-uh, uh by Chief Keef slow down is crazy i don't know why huh i don't know musicians have weird ass brains like i feel like we fucking interpret shit different yeah like it's weird i I, like read something about that a while back no i saw this i saw i I was telling tj the day and like there's a little dicky just came out with like a new song and i heard it and because people were like talking about it they're like oh this is like good you know what i mean and i listened to it i was like damn, this is trash. Like, I really don't fuck with it. And, like, I like Lil Dicky because he's funny, you know yeah. what I mean? I like the type. He's that tells stories, That pillow talking too. shit is fire. It's gas, yeah. Fire. But, like, I looked in the comments of that song and everyone's like, put it on one and a half speed, put it on 125 speed, and mm-hmm. I did, and I was like, oh, like, this is gas. I think that's why people, I don't know if you ever heard of Vaporwave. I don't think I heard I've, of that. Vaporwave is like, it's like a bunch of 80s music, like, really slow. Mm. Like um, Diana Ross, one of the most famous Vaporwave songs ever is uh, Diana Ross. Um, I don't know what the song is called. Like, It's Your Move, It's All In Your Head, something like that. But that shit slowed down. It's crazy. And, like, niggas was making memes out of it. Like, it was, it blew up. And people like to say, uh, like, it's dead. But, you know, like I said, there's a lane for that shit. And it's still popping. Say, still I'm actually going to make a Vaporwave album. Because, yeah. I'd like to hear that. Oh, it's going to be... I got like three Vaporwave songs made, maybe like four. How many would be on the album? 10 to 15 something, or would you go lower? Like like seven, 10, mm-hmm. maybe like 10. I think 10 is always a good number. It's fire, bro. I don't know why music slowed down is like great, but it just sounds really, I don't know. Cause I gotta try that. Yeah, I was about yeah, to say. I, you I just get, like you guys have that. never ever, like not no. even like chopped and screwed music? No, not really. You See, ever listen to the Carter too? Yeah, yeah, I was Did you have it on CD? Because no, I remember yeah, when I was younger, I like it came with two discs, mm-hmm. and one of them was the chopped and screwed version of the Carter Two. And I don't know if that's how I got introduced to like slower music, chopped and screwed music, but was that when it he might was have down been, in honestly. Houston? Hmm? Was that when he was down like learning from everybody in Houston? 
I, I, I hear that yeah. the chopped and screwed music is like big with like uh, the Houston area. It and, is. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know the idea. Like I don't know the inspiration. Mm -hmm. I just remember being younger. Like, ooh, this is. I don't know why it sounds cool, but it's cool. Like I remember listening to it, and my mom came in. Like, why does it sound like that? Yeah. I was like, I don't know, but it's fire. I used to like when I was younger. I used to fucking um take like the headphone jack like halfway out like the really? fucking CD yeah. thing and like listen like the ad libs would stick out more and the beat would be in the back yeah like it would sound like I don't know I just I, I know exactly weird what you're shit. talking like about. bass I love like wearing headphones and shit just to hear like 808s and shit and bass not knowing what it was huh. like I paid attention to weird shit when I was younger and yeah now that I'm a producer, like, it makes so much sense that I'm a producer now. Mm -hmm. you because you understand like, all the different little sounds. Yeah, and I didn't know what, that I knew or that I was, like, doing all these things when I was younger, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's tight. It's lit. Bruh, you got all these little things in your head. Yeah, I don't know. I just be fucking... Like, I don't think, but then I do think at the same time. It's freestyle talking. Yeah. That's what tight. I call it. <laughs> it's or organic C. Yeah. It's not even a word. But I'm yeah, nah. word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Define organic C. Uh, what we're doing right now. Perfect. So in the dictionary, else right in. Right in. <laughs> <laughs> now, what we're doing right now. Yeah, bro. But yeah, get into it, bro. Vaporwave, slow down your music. Any song y'all like, yo, slow it down. You know what? Now that we're, you know, because I know we're going to probably be talking about Connecticut music and shit. And we was just playing Nick Rose earlier. I played Company slow. I might chop and screw oh, it. I, feel like I was going to chop and screw it and just send it to him. Like, really? just as a surprise. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't know if he would give a fuck. But, like, <laughs> I was just going to do I it. Because yeah. I fucking love that song, dude. And, like, like I said earlier, that, that piano is, like, I don't know. It, it sounds like if you, like took your girl out to the fanciest fucking restaurant I was about in to the say, world. Yeah. Like, the richest shit in the world. And, like, that The guy's just that playing the piano on. on the grand piano, like, while you're eating your dinner. That's fire, yo. That would be so fire. He should remake the video, and we should do that as a scene. That should be the video. Do it for this chopped and screwed version of it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like it chopped. Maybe I just like down. it. I just like it slow. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. That's another thing I noticed when I was younger too. Like I just didn't like the chop because I like singing along, mm -hmm. and then like you're chopping that shit. <laughs> so like I have to go back and whatnot. But like, yeah, I don't know. That's what I do with music. Every song I like, I slow it down, mm -hmm. and it makes it like a hundred thousand million gazillion times greater. Yeah. Bruh, that's interesting. Like. I've seen the like that had the ability to either put it up like the little dicky or, song or do that, but you know, I don't know. You you guys heard it because I know y'all listen to damn, right? Yeah. The end of element. Yeah. When it slows down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how I play music. Like all the time. That's cool. Yeah. You know what's really fire, bro? What? The end of boredom by Tyler. Mm, yeah. Where Rex is like fine sometimes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That shit is fucking flawless. I feel like I just any Tyler song just... like that would be good. Vaporwave. Or turn not Vaporwave, but like uh, Like the, down. the Goblin album. Like, no, the Wolf album, Slow Down, is crazy. Like Slater, Party Isn't Over. I haven't, I've only oh heard God. singles off of those like tapes, but those are probably... Those are what put them Wolf on. Wolf is a great album. I didn't even notice it when it came out. But I was playing it in the summer, and I was like, damn, yo, he really captured a moment with this album. Mm -hmm. And I could see why people always say, like, it's their favorite Tyler project. I personally don't Wolf? have one. Yeah. Wolf, the blue cover. How many d does he have now? Four, because he had Cherry Bomb, and then... I think there's, like, five. This bastard, Goblin, Wolf, Cherry Bomb, Flower Boy. Do you see he just uh, re-released, like... He re-released re mm -hmm. the album, yeah. but with the instrumentals. The instrumentals yeah, yeah. I didn't like it, though. Because it feels mad empty. It does? Okay. Like, without listening to the vocals. And it's crazy, because I love Tyler's shit, like, his production. And I was like, damn, like, I wish he would release instrumentals. But then hearing it, I was like, nah, it just feels mad dry. Like It feels like Tyler's supposed to be on there. But 
if like just listening to listening to it like as a producer like i'm just trying to figure out like when certain what he did yeah like when certain things come in like, yeah like when to chop when to do this when yeah like so i was kind of studying that type of shit but there's like a part in keep the o's that i really like and i was on kinda, the instrumental yeah mm-hmm. yeah i think when he, when he's saying um He's like, stun on these niggas one time. And then these fucking pretty ass bells come in. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. That shit. But it's like these strings. It's crazy, yo. Yo, I'm trying to figure out why I love music so much. Like, why our brains just, like, freak out. Because I can't explain it. it to a lot of people, yo. Because everyone connects to it differently. Which yeah. I feel like is, like, a unique thing that music brings to the table. That's mm-hmm. why I love, like... Like, when I make beats, like, I put mad shit in there. Like, I put so much percussion and just extra just sounds and things. fucking effects in my shit. Because, um, I don't know if you know Rick Gat, one of my I don't think one so. of my bros. Like, like, he'll listen to my beats and see some shit in there that I forgot I put in there. And I'm like, damn, you're really listening. He'll be like, yo, listen to this. Like, follow my hand. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit, I do hear it. Like, that That shit's so fun. Yeah. And that's another thing. Like, when you play music slow down, you get to hear each and every sound. It's crazy. I was just thinking that, like, everything is amplified. Mm-hmm. Everything that you want to hear, yeah. you're going to hear. Yeah, it's like listening to it in headphones, in a way. Like, you yeah. just get to hear each and every sound. But it's fun. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out like why, why I love music so much. Like, what does it do to my brain? And I have to figure it out before I die. And I can't have no big ass scientific ass answer for it. It has to be simple, yeah. so all the ghetto kids could get it. <laughs> so you can explain <laughs> it to everybody. Yeah. Cause it's crazy, bro. Like, okay, whatever, dopamine and all that bullshit. But like, bro, I need something like, like God Himself needs to come down, like. This is how it's all structured, son. <laughs> like, yeah, because it's crazy, bro. Like, this is all I know. This is all I've ever done. Like, literally, it's like the only thing that I know is fucking music, music, music. I yeah. always had headphones. I always had CD players. Every fucking no matter way. what. Like, even if I was walking out the house for two seconds, like I'm bringing the fucking MP3 player with me. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, just so you could listen to it's something. It's crazy, bro. Like. And I take that shit so serious because music, like when I'm making music, I take it serious because like it's it's the universal language Mm -hmm. and it could either make you or break you. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, damn, I need to make lyrics that fucking heal people and I need to make sounds that heal. Like Jay Dilla, bro. Yeah. If I could be a Jay Dilla, I would be satisfied. Like niggas who just look up Jay Dilla to feel happy and to meditate. Like if I could do that with my music, I'm fine. What were we gonna ask? I was gonna ask you about meditation. Oh yeah, just like I meditate, not a lot, but yeah, I do. So you were talking about how you walk out of the house, you put in your headphones, you you always with your headphones. What's your opinion on silence? Yo, silence is slept on. I was just gonna say silence, silence is, is very huge. slept on. Cause you can have a conversation with yourself and not make it weird, like actually talking to your mind i'm not gonna lie to you i never have silence like almost ever Mm -hmm. but like one of my friends got got a hoopty the Mm -hmm. radio don't work (laughs) (laughs) and like none of us were talking and i i don't know i think it was yesterday i don't know where we were going but like i was just looking at the sky and shit and i was like damn yo i'm so glad this nigga doesn't have a radio because it would fuck up this moment yeah like I don't know, dude. There's so much shit that we don't pay attention to. And, like, being out in fucking nature is crazy, too. Like, just looking at trees. And I love autumn and shit, so, like, mm-hmm. the fucking trees are changing colors. Different and it looks colors, all pretty yeah. outside and shit. So, like, I was just looking at the window like, yo, nigga, this shit's beautiful, bro. Like, <laughs> it's silent as fuck. Like, nobody was talking. It was, like, four of us. Nobody was talking. Just all, like, living life in the moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's like that. Like, I like being in that car just because I know it would be silent. Because sometimes I don't, like, we get in the car, we fucking play X, we play Ski, we play, like, mad trap shit and just yeah. wild out. But, like, there's days where I don't want to do that. There's days where I just want to sit back and just not listen to anything. Mm-hmm. And, like, just, I don't know, hearing silence is amazing. 
Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. And you were saying nature too. Silence in yeah. nature is just like amazing. Yeah. Sometimes I just go to the park and sit down. Really? Yeah. Just look at the kids playing in the playground. Look at fucking trees and clouds. And mm -hmm. yeah, I don't care if it's cold. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be out there. <coughs> See, I can't do it if it's if it's cold. <laughs> I cannot. It ain't gonna be freezing, but like like sixty, I don't care. I'm a pussy when it comes to the outside. <laughs> Bro, all nah, I am too, but it's like, I don't know, man. Like, you need. You air, need fresh air. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I feel like the house is a fucking trap. Like, everything in it is just meant to fucking keep you. In. Like, somebody told me I was going to go out tonight, but my bed is comfortable. And I was like, dude, fuck your bed. Go make some memories. Yeah, if you're yeah. watching this, don't be mad. But, <laughs> like, just, I was just like, I was just thinking, like, damn, dude, like, there's a lot of shit that we don't do because it's like the fucking couch and the TV yeah. and the, all the food in your fucking house. Like, that shit it makes is you almost stay designed home. to keep you inside. Yeah, like, yeah. don't go out into the real world. Mm -hmm. Stay here. Just, like, stay You definitely in front of the TV. need it. You need the balance, of course, but like. But that's where the evil and the good, know, too. You yeah. need balance in everything. Being outside is like. It's so crazy. What's even crazier is that you don't realize how beautiful it is when you're a child. Mm -hmm. Like, even with like like people that are depressed I feel like they're depressed because they're not outside depression keeps you inside keeps you in the dark keeps you sad as fuck like you know what I'm saying yeah walk outside your door bro just yo even that like just yeah. fucking yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit just did a lot for me just now bro but you did that in this <laughs> like uh, not so nice apartment imagine if you were fucking outside fucking man the air got smog and whatever we not safe nowhere Mm, that's facts. <laughs> that but facts. I don't know. At the same time, you need it. Yeah. I don't know, bro. We're not dead yet, so it don't really matter. Just it's, everything like... is killing us and not killing us mm -hmm. at the same time. Like, I don't know. I think I just gotta. I feel like the more you like worry about it, the faster it's gonna kill you. Like mm -hmm. you need to like just live your life and like not worry. Like if you're gonna worry like. I know people that like don't like going outside or whatever because they're just like scared of the environment around them. But like at the yeah. same time, like if you're just staying inside and like in your comfort zone the whole time, like you're gonna hate that shit. Like yeah. it's not gonna get better. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Like you, you can't really like escape anything. No, you can't. Everything is fucked up. Like, every single thing is fucked up. Like these tables help, but they don't help because there's something in it that we shouldn't be exposed to. Like it's just it's shit like that that just you know like. Like, I I remember, like, posting a picture, like a, it was like a Transformation Tuesday picture. Mm -hmm. Like, in 2015, I had, like, two soda bottles next to me, and, like, a few months ago, I put, like, coconut milk and almond milk next to me, and somebody <laughs> commented, like, hey, like, there there's, like, cow milk and almond milk. And really? I was just like, dude, you can't really escape the Matrix Yeah. for for long, you know what I mean? That veganism shit fucked up too though because like our fruit is fucked up. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like they're fucking up. Like the, even more so, honestly. Yeah. yeah. All the pesticides and shit. That's they're gross. fucking up the DNA of the fruit. When you put stickers on it, you put letters on, you know what I'm saying, and numbers and shit, like you know. Yeah, bananas didn't used to be curved. That shit. Was, really? Yeah, shit was straight and then like Wow. Yeah. I like, never knew that's crazy. It's like there's another one too that's like crazy that like it's like I it's something I with apples, I think. Like they're not like supposed to be that color or something like that. But they're not like, supposed to be red. They're not, I know they're not supposed to be that shiny. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing. They yeah. like rub like wax on it or some bullshit. That's like, crazy, yeah. yo. I don't fuck with so it's see that, like why do things like this? Like what is the point of all this shit, dog? What is the point of fucking Illuminati? What is the point of God, the depth like everything? I think it's just chaos. I think it's just chaos. What do you mean? It's to keep everybody who thinks that they're not in power uh, inferior. It's, it, yeah, it, but why? Like, what do you get out of this in the long run? Like, okay, the devil runs the world. Now what? Because, like, you don't... If everybody has a soul, spirit inside them, and we're not selling it, then that means you don't have as much control over me as you think you do because this shit isn't forever. So the physical fucking body 
goes away, and now I'm doing what I need to do in the spiritual realm. And I'm away from all of this shit. Let's talk about that. So, are you Just, t talking about the astral realm, the fourth d dimension, what everybody's saying, or is this something different? Same shit. Okay. Yeah. So Just you like, believe in that? You... Like reincarnation and shit. Mm -hmm. I feel like the... I, I feel like the purpose of all this shit, like keeping us dumbed down to where we're not learning anything, we don't know our real history, because truth is the most valuable thing in the world. Facts. More valuable than money, more valuable than anything. Like, truth is number one. And the more we don't know shit, the more we'll have to repeat this life because we're not getting it right. Okay. So this is hell. Like, this is hell. But it's not disguised as, it, it, as hell, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it's just fucking crazy. It's a crazy concept to uh, put in the world. But, like, that's what I believe. I believe, like, we're not getting this shit right and we keep coming back. Uh, are you saying we as a society aren't getting it right? Like, our souls are coming back. Like, we're reincarnating into humans or fucking just lower vibrational things, you know, fucking animals, like... Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, say you fucking, you live this life, you were lazy. Yeah. You fucking be a duck in the next life or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to be lazy? Boom, there you go. Now you're Reincarnate to yeah. some other shit. Like, you know what I mean? Because you didn't want to take this life seriously. Do what you had to do. So, at that point... But that's know. just a, I don't know if that's how it goes. That's just how, you know, just through learning and shit, experience, that's just how I see it right now. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. we don't, I don't think the end result is like two places, three places. It's not heaven or hell. It's not limbo. It's not, I don't think it's none of that shit. There's nobody coming to you at the end. I, I just don't believe in that shit. So do you believe that there's anything to do with the astral realm, like being the place you go after? Then that's where you stay. Day, that is that your limbo until um, you reincarnate in your sense? Well, I feel like as a as a soul, you get to do what the fuck you want. Mm -hmm. Like you manifest your own. Because that shit gets old too. Mm -hmm. Like you're gonna be a soul or a spirit and then want to come back to earth. Yeah. And that's I think that's where reincarnation comes from. You know what I'm saying? That shit get boring too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you want to come back down here and experience this shit again. And you. Just tell you, you like almost wipe your memory just so you can have a clean slate. Try a redo. See if you mm -hmm. like every everything that you're doing right now, like everything that you're passionate about, like me with music, like that's some shit I probably didn't finish in the past life. And now I gotta come back here and get it right. Ah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's your destiny, mm -hmm. path, whatever you wanna call it, your fate. I like numerology too. You were talking about that earlier. Numerology. Like I don't really study it too much no more, but like that shit's really cool. And right. I sent it to somebody. They said it didn't work. Like it was something stupid. And I was like, damn. Like everybody I put numerology on too, like or put on to numerology, like they fuck with it. Mm -hmm. They start studying their life path number and shit like that, and getting into numbers because I think numerology is just like the study behind that shit and just how it plays like a bigger purpose and meaning in our lives, you know. Mm -hmm. Like your fucking, like your phone number can have a meaning. Your social security, your fucking license plate number, like your address. Like I looked up my my old address, and that shit was so relatable to what that house felt like, hmm. and what people felt when they walked in. Like it was yeah. crazy, compared to like where I live now. Like it just all made sense. It was wild. So I advise anybody who is like. Anybody that wants to find themselves, anybody that's like spiritual. Get into fucking numerology, get into astrology, because not all of it is bullshit. You just have to do a lot of research. Stop looking at the surface. Take everything shit. with a grain of salt. Yeah, for real. For real, study everything. Study religion, even even that shit too. Look at the Bible, because there's so much shit in everything that helps us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But like, you know, you dig deeper and shit, it's like, damn, this is actually fucked up. Like, yeah, it's, it's not. It's but like there's so much shit, bro. There's so much shit in the Bible that people could live by that's positive, and that's why people follow it. Because mm -hmm. if it was all bullshit, <laughs> nobody would follow it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody would believe it. But, you know, you have to put that 
you got to drop a little bit of seeds in there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, this is Lorenzo Nail's mind, man. This is what yeah. you wanted. No, exactly. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted, yeah. and it's making me think, too. Yeah. This is all I do is think, dude. You know what I, what I do every day, bro? I just wake up and think, like, how the fuck can I get this shit right, and how can I... Like, I'm always thinking, like, what music do I have to make to change niggas' perspective mm -hmm. and make people just a tad bit more open-minded? Because mm -hmm. that's all we need, bro. And see the world like you do. Not even. Not like I do, because you don't have to agree with me. You could mm -hmm. think I'm fucking crazy and think that all the shit I'm saying is bullshit, whether it's you, you have a different experience or you just believe in what you was taught your whole life. Mm -hmm. Like, niggas don't have to believe what the fuck I believe. I just want you to think. Because clearly the shit that we've been taught and the role, the role that we were given to walk, like the path we were given to walk is not, there's some fucking bumps in it, some bullshit in mm -hmm. it. And we need to start detoxing, bro. Start relearning and shit. You know what I'm saying? Start teaching ourselves like the real way to go about life. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, like the shit in school. It's bullshit. It's a lie. Our history books are fake. Oh, we found out Christopher Columbus didn't discover America. So now we need to figure out where our hi real history is at. Mm -hmm. We need to go find that shit. Reteach ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Teach the real story. Yeah. Just try to find something. You know what I'm saying? But every day I just wake up and I'm like, damn, like, how can I... Um, I don't want to say change the world because I believe in that and I don't. Influence the world? Yeah, like, just leave a mark. How can I... Like I said, just get people to just think. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all I want to do. Because that's all I feel the greats have done. Like, that's what Prodigy does for me. That's what Daylight did. That's what X did. To that's inspire the next I... generation. Yeah, just, like... Just get people to think, man. But I don't want to make it subliminal. Like, I'm tired of that shit. You want to be straight you know up with it. Yeah. Like, you got to play my song backwards to figure out what happened. And I just want to give it straight to you. You know what I'm saying? Let like, so much people. The lyrics. It's, like, it's like, how do you feel? Like, I love that song. It's my favorite song. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't like performing that shit sometimes because I know how that type of information could be perceived to people. Like... You fucking dissing religion and not even really dissing it, but just trying to, like I said, make people think Opening like, yo, mind yeah, to. maybe something you were taught was fucked up. And that's why you don't feel it. Like niggas go to church and don't be feeling nothing. I swear to God, I ain't feel too much when I was a Christian. Mm -hmm. But like you, you stay in that boat because you're scared, bro. Like you don't want to leave. And you don't want to say that you left. Yeah. So it's, it's weird because and then due to people not being open minded. A person like me could look like, like, contradicting, mm -hmm. which is not a fucking bad thing because you're supposed to contradict yourself, especially if you're constantly studying and learning shit and thinking about new ways to go about things and how to look at situations, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's just fucked up with, with things like that because, you know, and not to say that, like, anybody's opinion matters, you know what I'm saying? This is, everybody has their own journey, but, like, you know, it's just fucked up. Because, you know, people will never get out of that box. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you're, now you're not Christian? Like, now you, you know what I mean? Like, it's just weird, bro. It's like, I changed my mind. Yeah. I re-looked at everything that I saw before, and now... Yeah, it, but people are, people are used to it when it's like, okay, I'm not doing the same things I did when I was younger. Like, you grow up. But a person like me, my nigga, like, I will... It's almost bad because I, I haven't found my balance yet because mm -hmm. I could literally be on one thing one week and then the next week I'm like, no, because I studied so fucking much. Yeah. Like, like if I'm into something, I'll look at it all day, all week. So And when you when you do that, not only do you see the pros, but you see the cons too. Yeah. And that's what So I'm is. just like, hey, wait, we shouldn't be doing this because blah, blah, blah. But then I'm like, oh, shit, wait, there's benefits to it. Yeah. I'm at, I was at a point where I was just like, yo, I'm about to just fucking end all this shit. Like, I'm about to kill myself. I'm about to just Don't find a way to fucking successfully... No, nah, I'm not. But this is what I was thinking. This is dead ass what I was thinking. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to find a way to just not be here because this shit is fucking retarded. But then that reincarnation thing popped up. Like, damn, 
If I kill myself, I probably didn't get this shit right. And then I'm gonna have to do it again. And no matter what, you're gonna have to just do it again. Yeah, it's fucking wild, bro. Like, what is this shit? <laughs> but at the same time, like, we've been here forever, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. As far as just, because energy doesn't, you can't kill it. You yeah. can't destroy it. Like, it's been here forever, so, you know, there's just a lot of shit here that we can't explain. But we would be able to explain it if we, you know, dug deeper and shit, you know what I'm saying? I want people to, like, I don't know, I want people to be interested in that type of shit. Because we don't think about anything. Like, we don't, we don't give a fuck about anything that is important. Yeah. Like, we're so fucking contradicting and hypocritical. Even, we don't need, we don't even have to be, like, spiritual. We don't have to talk about astral projection and all that crazy shit. Like, even just, like, how we live as physical beings here. Like, everything we do is fucking hypocritical. Yeah. Like, we fucking, we, like, act like we don't like shit. Like, it's weird, like. I can't even find the words for it, bro, but, like, I remember, um, I remember, like, fucking being younger watching Jerry and shit, Mm -hmm. and, like, thinking, like, damn, this shit crazy, like, motherfuckers just be fighting and shit, like, (laughs) is this shit real? Grow up, it's fucking lie, it's fake, whatever. Yeah. Then you have shit, which I feel is, like, a replica of it, like, fucking loving hip-hop and world star and shit like that and you'll have people be like yo like fuck love and hip-hop like all they do is fight and they're in broken relationships yeah but you'll watch jerry it's literally the same shit you know what yeah, i mean yeah i feel that like it's just contradicting as fuck uh, this whole world is contradicting <laughs> just like you said there's a bunch of hypocrites i'm picking up erica okay cool thank you hi erica <laughs> she'll see this that's you said she won't see this no she'll see this oh. that's fine hi Erica you're tight I don't, I don't know you but that's my yeah. girl <laughs> oh what's well, good <laughs> but yeah bro like people are just like hypocritical as shit oh uh, yeah I just be noticing shit like that like damn how you not like this but you like that and it's the same shit like you know what I mean think about the fact that we have like we have that green day or national earth day, yet we still have people dumping shit in the ocean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it ain't even us. Yeah. Half the time, because we don't control where everything goes. No, not at all. But like... You see your trash we, go, and then... This is why I like, how do you feel? Because the, the second verse, the fucking... Uh, Who's the real enemy? Black or white? God or devil? Rap or metal? Mm-hmm. Gay or straight? Male or female? Religion or science? But tell me why does it matter? Because everybody's the dying. Supposed to be multiplying, but no, talking about peace and equality. We owe the planet an apology. We're the ones fucking this shit up. Acting like we want to make it better. Yeah. We're not we shouldn't even be here, bro. Like, we are not supposed to be here. The human, like, body is not... Not like the superior race, not even race, what am I saying, uh, species mm-hmm. compared to all these other, like, you have like fucking lions, you have yeah. fucking polar bears, yeah. you, like all these things that would eat us. Mm-hmm. And yet, just because of our brains, we made it here. We, like... Because yeah. they have to deal with whatever we do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not smart enough to know everything that we know. Mm-hmm. So we're able to. Yo, the zoo is the craziest shit ever, bro. I was talking Yo. to a couple friends about this the other day. <laughs> like I feel like, like yo, I hate saying this shit, bro, because I, it's like, yo, it's just so crazy. But like, I feel like everybody who got a pet mm. is a fucking slave master. I love my pet though. I do too. I do too. But the, see, there's good and bad to it. Because it's like, you could save an animal from a fucked up situation. But at the same time, they're not supposed to be where they are. Mm-hmm. Like us taking animals away from their parents and shit. <laughs> yeah. Just so, just for our own benefit. Or like, ooh, let me get a fish and put it in a fucking tank this big and sit it on my dresser. Like, and then it's just... in this Circling like around. That shit is crazy, bro. 
We, me and him went to the fucking um, Chinese place the other day, and there was like seven big ass fish in yeah. one tank like this. Like they're big as fuck, like this big, bro. Like Jeez. just fucking. I'm not tank. supposed you to ask. Care. Like, do they even know what outside looks like? Yeah, like they the probably think that's the like, entire you know, world, bro. That, that is their think entire about that, world. bro. Exactly. Like, really think about this shit because it's actually sad. Like you just looking at the tank, you looking outside of the tank every single day. And you, you just think like this, this space, like all you can see is Chinese people just cooking food. That's it. That's the world. But to them, it, it may not be. Who so knows? Good. They might not even give a fuck. We don't know what fish think about. I mean, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, damn, bro. Like we are smart enough to know, bro. And we, we take shit, bro, and just like use it for our own benefit. Like, ooh, let me fucking, let me fucking kill a cheetah and make a shirt out of it or some shit. Bro, I like, hate seeing videos like <laughs> that. That shit crazy, bro. I saw something <laughs> like these three guys were hunting down an elephant in a pack, shot one of the elephants, and all the other elephants started charging at them, but realized that they're like, oh, we got kids with us, so like, let's just tend to the one that got shot. And like, But why are fucking people going into the safari killing a fucking big-ass elephant in this 2018 mm -hmm. and recording it? Mm -hmm. And then being like, oh, that almost killed us, but we're okay. I see and mad videos of cows getting killed. Hmm. This shit's wild. That whole thing about, like... Just the process of, like, you know, how shit gets made. You know, how our food gets meat? made and drinks and shit. Like I know that. we yeah, were like, talking about that earlier, but... And then when I was younger, bro, like, me and my grandmother could never watch them fucking a dog abusive commercials and shit. Mm -hmm. Nigga, like... That shit crazy, bro. Those are the but worst. But they got us, bro. They fucking got us. Because it's like, oh, donate, donate, donate. Why donate, bitch? I work a nine to five. Yeah. Y'all got a fucking camera crew filming homeless kids and shit in Kenya. Like, no fucking clothes. These niggas butt ass naked. No food. You can and see their ribs. Sad. You know what I'm saying? But we need to donate. Think about the when editor you guys making it, that. And exactly. Like, they're that. do you know how much money they spend just on the commercials being made? Yeah. But y'all can't go down there and save them, but y'all could go down there and film it. Yeah. Or maybe they're fucking actors. Because some of these motherfuckers is actors. See, that's fucked. It's crazy, bro. You could look at it from any mm -hmm. point of view. This shit makes me feel crazy, bro. <laughs> this shit makes shit me like feel this so will crazy, make you feel yo. crazy. And that's why I, got, I started getting depressed. And I was like, it doesn't make me feel crazy because like... The information is so like, wow. Mm -hmm. It's more so like, damn, the world won't look at this shit and think anything positive of it because they're just used to the structure and how shit is and they don't think it's a lie. And it's, yo, <laughs> yo, dude, I never, like, do you remember waking up as a child, like, knowing that this shit was cool? Like, yeah, I'm just fucking play PS2 today. Like, I'm gonna go yeah. to school. I'm gonna meet some fucking girls later. Like, I'm gonna be a roller magic. Like, it, ooh, it's gonna be the real like, world. Just like, exactly, bro. It wasn't the real world. Yo, but I. This shit but is it was a gift your and a curse, real bro. world. This shit is a gift and a curse. Mm hmm. Because I love being. I don't like conscious woke, but I love being in that state of mind. Like, I love being able to think. Open. Yeah, and just look at shit from. Outside you know, every box. perspective, even not for for me personally, but even like if you, you know, had a point of view, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I'm open enough to listen, to understand me. it, even mm -hmm. if I don't agree with it, you know what I'm saying? I will listen and hear you See, out. That's and, key. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. that's what you got to do. And that's why a lot of like relationships and shit and friendships fail and, you know, you get fucked up with your family members because like everybody has a point of view and they don't want to let go of theirs to hear yours out. Versus both of us saying, hey, let's just sit down and, you know, um, pick out from each other's minds. Mm -hmm. Let's just see what we agree with. Let's see what we could work on. You know what I mean? We don't fucking do that. It would be a better world if we did. Yeah, for real. But we don't care to. Because it's like, oh, me, 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 and mine. And, like, I'm right. Like, you're not fucking right. And I'm not right. Like, we both just need to. There's so much shit going on, bro. We live in a everybody. narcissistic culture, and it's always been like that. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. And, it, like, oh, yeah. that's, like, a negative term, but it really describes, like, just this 
world that we live in. Mm -hmm. No, I agree with you. Selfish and not selfless. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's also okay to be selfish because I feel like there's times where you need to be. Yeah. There's times where you need to not. Because, like, people sometimes have too much of a fucking big heart. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those people. But then you got to know when to say no to shit. You have to know when to be like, okay, I'm not doing this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to allow you to do whatever, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to. No, don't be that yes man. Yeah, for real. You have Dude, to I really feel like I'm going to die young. Don't say that. Nah, I really do though. Because like, I, feel like, real. I feel like certain people. Nah, I don't, I don't really believe that shit though. Like I, I do and I don't. Do. I really don't. I ain't gonna hold you. I'll nah, say they, I'll die they, right they now. really not. Nah, and real shit though, mm -hmm. they really fucking us over with that whole like, like especially because they like to say this shit with rappers like, oh, you speak about suicide and death and then ooh, they die. But like, and that's another conversation too. Mm -hmm. I yo, bro, I know a lot of shit, or at least just have a lot of um, theories that would like blow niggas' minds. With what? I don't. Don't even want to go into it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nah, I don't give a fuck about getting killed. That shit crazy though to think about. Like all the niggas that I fuck with mm -hmm. get FBI threats and shit. Like David Banner and shit. Like I think Prodigy too when he was alive. I could see that. He he yeah, spoke his wild. mind. Yeah, but it wasn't even that deep, bro. Like Prodigy knew a lot of shit, bro. But like we he didn't even live, bro, long enough to like do the shit. When did he die? He was gonna do um June twentieth last year, twenty seventeen. Damn. Which I know that was a fucking sacrifice. It's, I don't think it's a coincidence that he died in six months of the year. There's some whole shit on that too, like the higher ups kill you. The six month of the year, like some blood sacrifice shit, some ritualistic shit is that why I this may not have any correlation but in the song paranoia by chance he's like he says something of like everybody dies in the summer so pray for some more spring <laughs> so just imagine if it did happen. yo I'm telling you bro and I don't I ain't even hear that song but I told you bro they be telling us shit and we not looking deep into he's it like, everybody dies in the summer and like mm -hmm. bro, yo nigga you ever listen to like like Michael Jackson shit, bro. Like he be saying a lot of shit too. No, Even outside like, of the music, really. like, like I can't, even, I can't hits. think of it. Yeah, and that's all we know. And Michael Jackson fucking making music since he was fucking he in his mom's catalog. stomach. Yeah. So like, there's so much shit that you could like uh, look from. But like, yo, Michael Jackson got some songs where he's speaking shit. Tupac got songs where he like, yo, I, I just. <laughs> Yo, this shit crazy, bro Like, a lot of these big artists be telling us shit, man And they music and they interviews Even X knew a lot of shit that people don't pay attention to He was trying to tell us X would be saying shit in interviews like Yeah, I'll say this because it's already out So I can't get killed for it Like, you know what I'm saying? Or like, if He'll be saying some shit like like, I don't know if you've ever if you've ever seen three hour conversation he has with DJ Academics on um Academics yeah, when he YouTube had, or some shit. Like the, his last conversation with DJ Academics. Yeah. yeah, it was like a FaceTime yeah. call or some shit like that. Like he was saying some shit in there too. Like yo, if the government just let me live, let me do what I need to do. All I want to do is just positively impact the kids and blah blah blah. He was talking about like musical frequencies and shit. Like just you know, and it's crazy, man, because these these videos have like. A hundred thousand uh, of views, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's wild. Like what do we be paying attention to while we're watching this shit? Are we even watching the entire thing? You know what I'm saying? Like, or even when we listening to the songs, bro. Like, we, it, it so much shit flies over us, bro. Like, especially because like we don't understand certain concepts they talk about. We don't understand certain words, but at the same time, we don't even care. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To like. Motherfuckers be talking about the craziest shit in the world, bro. And, like, we won't catch on. But it doesn't matter because they warned us. So we have to be, you know, open enough to fucking catch on to it. Almost like you got to be vigilant. Mm -hmm. But 
how are you going to be vigilant to something that you don't know where it's coming from? And that's the trick. Yeah. You have to be, (laughs) you have to decrypt everything almost. Yeah. And then you'll find, like, it's almost like when you sift uh, the sand for the gold. Mm -hmm. And, like, you might sit there for hours and not find gold. But, like, if you go and you do it for every little thing, you might find that one gold nugget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn, bro. (laughs) <laughs> I feel like you just got high. Are you high? Yeah, I'm a little high from my. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. a little high from my joint before, but then mixed with this, my mind is definitely <laughs> definitely <laughs> opened up a little. What about the pineal gland? Have you I done any I don't research know too much about chakras. See, I I don't know too much with chakras either. I I saw like the basics on mm. it, but mm. I don't um, know. yeah, I don't I don't know a lot about chakras. I'm like, I'm like spiritual and not spiritual at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like I just kind of would like to do That's things that I know real, enhance my my spirit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I would listen to meditation music. I, would, you know what I'm saying? Just try to do things that keep me at a higher vibration. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I ain't woke. I'm not conscious. I'm not spiritual. I'm not on the Black Lives Matter shit. Like I'm not nothing at all. Like I'm, and that's why I made Neil, bro. That's really why I came up with Neil because like, I'm just nothing. Like I'm not in a fucking category. I don't want anybody to be in a category though, because mm-hmm. I don't want to. That's I don't know. I don't know how that would come off, but like, because. If you put them in a category, they have walls, they're boxed in. And, mm-hmm. they, they s- and that's what everything is meant to do in this world, is box you in. Even, like, even the conscious shit, bro. Like, or veganism, like, yeah, you, you learn a shit and you definitely, you stepped up and better from, you know, where you were before. But, like, that's a box in there, you know what I'm saying? Because you're a part of a community of people. Mm-hmm. So, you're learning shit from other people. So, now you have, a, like a like, a boss... And if the boss is not allowing you to be open-minded, then you're just going to listen to what everybody's saying to you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And sometimes that shit not going to be legit. Like, like the conscious community, like, niggas could be teaching you shit that's not true. You know what I'm saying? Or, like... But they believe it. Yeah. Or, or like, like, like we said with religion, like, you know, you have a pastor talking to you all fucking day. Mm -hmm. So... You can't go out and experience things because it's like, nope, this is sinful. You're going to die. You're going to go to hell. God's going to hate you. Bro, honestly, if God is real, dog, I mean, I, there ain't no fucking nigga in the sky, like, letting shit be like this. That's not true. But if there's some type of... Um, Higher being yeah, or something. Just out here, I feel more connected to it now than I've ever done, been. Mm-hmm. Like, ever I like that. Like church couldn't do it, religion couldn't do it, a pastor couldn't do it. Like you had to do it yourself. Yeah, I feel more connected to it now. Like than I ever had before. It's weird, man. That's why I don't like saying shit is like right, wrong, because we don't, we don't know. It's a whole entire gray zone. Yeah, like we don't really know what right is and what wrong is. Like in the, I don't know, in a way, like shit is right, what is wrong? Like it's just, it's weird, bro. But they want us to get like this. I, I believe as much shit as they hide from us, they want us to find it. And that's why they put it out. Because whatever they don't want out, they're killing your ass if you put it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So all this Illuminati shit and conspiracy theories, they want us to find this shit out. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because it wouldn't be so easy to find. It wouldn't even be trending. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's They allow rappers to talk about this shit. So... So then I'll be thinking like, damn, well, why do they want us to find it out? Like, that is so we question. get even more scared and even more depressed and like, what happens when all we find it out? Manipulation. Mm-hmm. Did you see what's yeah. that Hobson video? Um, fly, ill minds. Yeah, uh, fl- mind I love fly. fly. I think it's fly where they're playing the video game. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, businessmen yeah. are playing. Yeah. That's genius, yeah. bro. I didn't notice how like, you know, daylight. The battle rapper, 
The dude with the fucking so. tattoo, like, oh. Uh, yeah, I think The big-ass so. face yeah. tattoo. He got, like, one of the greatest face tattoos. Daylight is very, very, very... You think I'm open-minded? That nigga's crazy. Like, he's in another... He's in another fucking realm. But, um... Pulling up his image. I forgot my point. We were talking about Hobson. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it was... Well, the Hops and Fly video, we were talking about how the government was kind of just like playing a game with us, and we were talking earlier. We were talking about yeah, he, manipulation. yeah, that was my point. He was um he was on a live stream talking about like Hobson has a lot of conscious music, but he doesn't want to release it because he doesn't want to turn his fan base off, and that's crazy. But because like, I've I've heard Cardi B say the same shit, like a few artists have said that shit. Like yeah, yeah. like like she was like I'll go conscious, but niggas like the turn shit. They like. You know, the party shit. I yeah. want to keep my money where it is. She literally said that. Now, I'm paraphrasing, of course, but... But she wanted that Bodak yellow. She saw that, the success... And that's and fucked up, that. bro. Because even celebrities know that we play a part mm -hmm. in this reincarnation shit. They know that we have to start this shit over. You know what I'm saying? They play a part in us being fucking dumbed down as a society. Like, and that shit is crazy. They know the Matrix. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. Because they're a part of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers is coming up with plans, they there. <laughs> you know, or they getting told about it. Or yeah. Some shit. I mean, I, I don't really believe motherfuckers be in a dark room with masks and whatnot and all that shit. I don't believe in all of that. But at the same time, you can't really, like, not... Uh, you can't knock it because you don't know. Mm -hmm. But the industry is crazy, bro. They be doing crazy shit to their artists. They raping these artists. Literally raping these artists. Like, literally raping them. Like, <laughs> this shit is crazy, bro. It's wild as fuck. I feel like this entire interview is, like, based on the conspiracy of the industry. <laughs> oh, this interview is just... I don't, I don't know what it is. It just is. It's, it's the mind <laughs> of Lorenzo Nil. It, it is Nil. Yeah. Nothing. It's just going. Maybe I should just name my next project now. Right, that's what I thought you were talking about. Oh, I do have a title. I ain't going to leak it, though. I'll tell you off air. Okay, but. cool. <laughs> that's, that's cool with me. Yeah. They don't need to know yet. <laughs> yeah, because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with it. Like, I don't know if it's coming out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I was, like, fucking with these drafts today, and I was like, I don't know if I'll use it, but I might use it. I had a... um. This is something I had already put out into the universe, into the world. Um, uh, this um, a cry for help project that I wanted to create, but like, shit went a different route. But I'm thinking about doing it now, mm -hmm. cause I got some songs that I want to release. <clears throat> some shit that didn't make the album that's like really fucking depressing, like really dark. But it's really like, I don't know. It's like, how do you feel? But it's like more. It's just a little deeper. Mm -hmm. I was just about to say, go down deeper and yeah. like, dig into the things that. But not too deep, you know what I'm saying? Because I like to keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Like I don't so like being like. Can understand. Yeah, I don't like being like too lyrical with the shit. Like it's just. Like pretty much the next project, that I create, whether it's an EP or an album, whichever I go, it's like. I just want to create the feeling you know what i'm saying like i don't want to focus too deep on the fucking length of the song the lyrics does it have a hook is there a fuck like all that technical shit just it just that shit like gets to me sometimes because i'm like damn like i'm not doing it this way and then it's wrong and like mm -hmm. and there's no fucking wrong so i'm just trying to create some shit where it's like you just fuck with it because it just you know you're just attracted to it like your ears are like yes this is this is amazing. This is you don't it. have to pay attention to the fucking, like, you know, like the traditional structure of songs and beats and, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Because mm -hmm. I might have some shit where, like, I don't know, like, you know who's really good at songs with no hooks? Oh. Vizquino. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, He's, like, and I was... I was listening to he got a song called attacking the clones he has a lot of songs where he's just blacking out on beats like he yeah. literally just blacks out to the shit ends and, I, and like every time i listen to a beat i'm like damn okay it needs a hook it needs a and then i'm fucking thinking like damn yo this nigga skino just goes in he does like he just either. lets his fucking heart do it you know what i'm Paint saying like he lets his soul just fucking speak 
You know what I'm saying? Like there's no uh there's no structure when it comes to your soul speaking. See, that's beautiful. And that's what I want with my with my beats, with my lyrics like cuz I made some shit earlier. It was a beat I made in 2016. It was like a, it's a really fucking pretty sample. And I have recorded some shit to it t uh, earlier today. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at it in the fucking in the session, and I'm like, damn, yo, this shit's so short. I don't know if I should just like have the hook and the verse like repeat again, like three more times or whatever. Like I don't know, you know, certain shit like that when you create music, it gets to you, you know, because it's like, damn, it don't Especially got this, it don't as got an that. Artist, you're like something yeah. like it's not right. Yeah, and then the, but then you start thinking like damn like does this shit even really fucking matter like nah. why do niggas even care about this shit like why is this the structure you know what i'm saying like but yo i got some fire ass beats in the vault yeah like that are gonna be that should be on the next project like mm -hmm. if they could make it if the songs come out good enough and like the features are good enough mm -hmm. like this fucking one beat i have yo oh my god you just want to release it. You just want to show it. I do. Like, I want to go on Instagram and just do that shit X was doing. Like, just preview every song on my album. <laughs> like, because it's that fucking good, bro. Oh, I'd love to see it. Pre I love preview dope. videos. Yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah, I've it, done that shit before. It, it, like, that shit is, like, crazy. You know the Garrett's Revenge preview video? Mm -hmm. That song... I like I replayed that more times than I like played the actual song. Like I thought he, that he version previewed, was better. Like Red Light, the shit off of Christmas Carol. Mm -hmm. Like it's crazy because I was making I was making edits and shit like to his songs, mm -hmm. like just like shit for like you know music in the background of my videos. But the songs weren't out yet. Like he has a song called uh, "The Boy with Black Eyes." And, like, it wasn't out, but I already did an edit to it. Because I was like, damn, yo, this one fucking part is just so dope. Like, yeah. And I just couldn't help it. Like, the song he has called One Minute. That was, like, the latest uh, edit I I did. And that shit ain't out. But I just love the draft. And I'll be fucking with the pitch and shit. Huh. Like, yeah. I don't know. That's cool. Yeah. You be fucking with a lot of things with music. and I like <laughs> Yeah, dude, because I don't know, man. It's just... I'm just doing what I did when I was younger, but yeah. now I know what it's called and, you know. You're able to experiment. Better. My mind is more, like, broad, so I'm able to, like, experience, uh, I don't know, deeper shit, like, with the music. Mm -hmm. You know? I don't know. I'll be reversing shit. Like, I'll be playing with shit, like, in music. Like, I'll, I'll put weird-ass sounds in my beats. Like, yeah. I don't know. And then, like, everyone else does it. Like, Dilla's done it. Fucking Kirk Knight. All these niggas, like, they yeah. just all... I don't know. I study, and I fucking just let my fucking mind, like, go wherever it wants to go. Yeah. Take the wheel. Like, be weird, dude, as a producer. Be weird. Whoever makes beats, just fucking be weird. Because that's the coolest shit. Mm-hmm. That's what you you ever listen to J H of tomorrow? It was like a it's like a subgroup of Odd Future, like Matt Martians, which is of the internet. Yeah, you know, I was just like about to say the and, internet. Yeah, Matt cool. Martians and um, I think Pyramid Vitra and somebody else. I think it was Brandon Deshay, but he wasn't a part of Odd Future. Yeah, I don't know, but they got this album called um, Journey to the Fifth Echelon, and that is like in my top ten. Hmm. I love that shit. It's just a bunch of cool ass beats. And there's some features like Vince Staples on that album, Tyler's on the album, Casey Veggies. It's like some. I think it came out in 2011. Casey's nice. He is. I haven't listened to Casey in a while, but I haven't. Listened I remember since listening like to that shit. 16 or 16, yeah. Yeah. I remember listening to that shit in like 2012 or 13 or something. He like made that. a song with Dom Kennedy. He had another one with uh, Ty Dolla Oh, fucking I know, fire! Yeah, yeah wonderful, right? Or something. That 1997 oh, song is. Fire. I don't... 1997? I believe that nigga always wearing something clean for the group. I don't think I've seen it. Yo, that, that shit is so familiar. fire, I'm, yo. I swear to God, I probably heard Yo, it listen before. to it slow down. When you <laughs> hear it, down. listen to me because the the fucking sound is beautiful. It's like... Ding, 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 ding. Like, it's it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Play that shit slow down. We're going to have to do it right after this. Yeah. That shit. Watch, I'm going to show you, bro. I'm going to show you how your mind just... Goes to fucking oblivion when you play songs backwards. Like that shit just. 
I wonder what Pink Floyd has some stuff backwards. I, they probably do. I, I just haven't been. Or playing it slow or whatever, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that shit is amazing. Like, I don't even know how I got into it, yo. Like I said, like, when I was younger, I just remember having a card or two, and one of them was, like, it was, like, a chopped and screwed version. Yeah. And I just got into it. But I don't know what made me want to, like, slow music down the way I do it now. Because literally, like, if I'm bored, I'll just play some shit slowed down. Mm -hmm. Like, I do it every day. And it, it, it just, like, or I'll speed it up. Like, even that does something. Yeah, like how you said that little dicky song. I don't know. But, you know, what do you think people do when they're sampling? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they do. They speeding shit up. They slowing it down. Like, trying to find, you know the right tempo for the beat yeah for the sample and you know very true so you know we're we we're like introduced to it but you know that's like in production like no one has really took took in a song and just slowed that shit down but that's what vaporwave is and then they chop it up a little bit and like put effects on it like mm -hmm. reverb and delay and all that type of shit and, a lot of delay yeah but it's dope yeah i'm gonna have to do my research i'm man. telling you bro you don't have to smoke no more like, you can, because I'm sure it's cool, but you don't. But just slow down your music, but everybody. But if you slow down your music and listen to it while you're high, hey. Might be that, better. That might, yeah, that might fuck you up. <laughs> I like how you feel like that with music. I even slow my shit down. That's how funny. do you feel slowed down is fucking crazy, dog. Those piano <laughs> chords are amazing. That shit crazy. And the the live version of that, because there's like a performance version. Mm -hmm. It's like, I take the drums off it for the first verse. Mm -hmm. That shit is amazing. My friend watched me perform. He said he almost cried. <laughs> That's so cool. It was just the lyrics combined with the with the chords. Like, he was just like, damn, like this shit really almost made me cry. Do you yeah. ever get that? Like, like damn, it's the, uh, the chills down your spine and while you're watching something like... You're listening to a note, and as soon as they hit it, and then it, you're, you get the chills, you get the goosebumps. Like mm -hmm. that's, I feel like that's the best part about music. I don't really get chills or goosebumps. I'm just like, damn, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. You respect like, it. My fucking soul is just like, cha-ching. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know what it is, yo, but I geek out over, like, like one, like the other night you were scrolling on Instagram. And there was like some fucking ad or something, but it was like this beautiful ass piano. But mm -hmm. I don't, it was probably like some, it was like a vacuum commercial or some shit. Yeah, like yeah. I just geek out over shit like that. We'll be in a restaurant. I'm like, like what is playing? Like you know? Yeah, I gotta shazam that. Real yeah, dead ass. Like we be asking the waitresses and shit. Like what is this music? <laughs> like <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, for real, bro. I found some shit the other day, like some. Some Japanese shit. It like killed the fucking sample. My friend loves that beat. It was something random I found too, because I was looking at, I was trying to sample something different, or I think I was like about to do an edit for one of my beats, mm -hmm. but then I found a sample like in the. It was like some quick shit in the beginning, and I was like, oh, this is crazy, and sample that. Man. Yeah, bro, you gotta like, you gotta fuck with everything, bro. Reverse your drums, my nigga. That shit fire. To, uh, Kendrick did that on, um... Good Kid, Mad City. No, he... Oh, are you talking about Lust? Was it, it was Lust? It off of, um... It's Damn. off of Damn. Yeah, it was Lust. I love the fuck out that album. I don't know every song How did those lyrics Lust. go? Uh, lyrics... Fuck. I, I remember he mentioned that. Wake up on the... 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 Yeah, it's shit like that, bro. Like, just... I don't know. Like, it just sounds... Amazing. I don't know what it is. It's music, man. It's inexplainable. It's crazy, though. Like, just playing with fucking sounds and shit. Like, I love sampling, but, like, playing the shit myself is crazier, too. I was about like, to say, that's probably even better. I swear to God, bro, all I need is pads of fucking synth and an 808. And some type of percussion and I will be straight. Like that's all my beats are. It's just like it's that shit. Like simple I was, as that. <laughs> what happened? It's simple as that. You oh, just yeah. give yourself that. Like Tyler shit, bro. Tyler put me onto a song called 
uh, Smile by Pharrell. Mm -hmm. It was in the, um, I think it was in that, uh, he did like a conversation for the Flower Boy album. It was mm -hmm. like an hour long or some shit. Was that the one with what? Him, him and uh, Jared, I think his name is. Yeah, he's a, he's a good ass actor. Yeah, he yeah. He was in the Jay Z video for uh, Moonlight, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he I was remember like, you made me watch that before our, our last interview, actually. Yeah, he was fucking. He was like, "Yo, the song is like gross, but if you, like, the bridge is amazing." And I listened to the song, and Pharrell does this shit where he like, he kind of like mixes gospel and trap. Like it'll be like a gospel type piano, mm -hmm. but it'll be like the hi hats, like trap shit. And I'm like, ew, like this shit is disgusting. And then the bridge came and I was like, holy shit, this is fire. Mm -hmm. Like everything changed. It's fire. There's like a 10 minute video of just the, like the fucking, the chorus of the bridge, like just looped. Cause that's like, I don't know, it's just crazy. Bro, that's a cool thing. You can do that too. Like that, yeah. the Sway Lee part in Sicko Mode where he, all he does is say someone says. Yeah. And then, but like mm -hmm. people love that. Or fucking nigga, nine one one, bro. Frank Frank's part and nine one one. Oh yeah. The chirp, chirp. The, oh my god. Yeah, I loop that shit too. Um. Looping stuff is. Awesome. Since we're like geeking off of music, Pharrell's part on "I Fucking Hate You" is crazy. I don't know if I ever listened to that. I fucking hate you, but I love you. I'm bad at what keeping was that my emotions bubble. Um, that was Wolf. Wolf. Yeah. You're good at being perfect. We're good at being trouble. That song. But Pharrell, like, when Pharrell parts, um, when that part comes in, like, the chords change. And when he performs it, he he uh, does it without drums, and he just mm -hmm. lets Pharrell's part um, play. And I'm like, that shit. Oh, my yes. God. I put that in FL and just looped it and just slowed it down. Having a good time in FL. <laughs> like, Yo, I'm on that shit all day, like, every day. That's cool, bro. FL is a great program. <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. That's for real, for real, for amazing. real. I love that shit. Yo, I love that song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. What what geeks you out, bro? Like, what music you hear? You're just like, damn, dude. This is fucking amazing. So, if if we're staying on like fucking rap, I would mm -hmm. have to say like Mac Miller's stuff. That Wait, off of his uh, new album? Not, well, yes, his new album, definitely. But, like, some stuff like Good AM and mm -hmm. uh, his second to last one, The Divine Feminine. And I like just, Faces. That's my shit. Faces, the yeah. Mixtape. There's just a lot of hidden content that I like to just, like, dive into. And Max, Mac and Peep were, like, probably my two favorite artists. And just to, like... Like the deep, like the message they both convey is completely different, but almost the same to to me. But I mm -hmm. felt that something in my heart when I heard their music on their page, and like I'll say, like peeps, come over when you're sober. Part one, I listened to that shit mm -hmm. front to back, back to front, front to yeah. back this that day, like over and over and over again. Like what is the stuff that I've never heard? And that goes back to my roots because I listen to a lot of like rock and like like the punk rock mm -hmm. and my brother yeah, was in a band so like I, I love the bass so when i heard um i'm pretty sure it is uh ben's truck where it has this dope ass oh, beep. Beep, yeah, yeah bass yeah. riff and it's just like i like i was big you know uh flea from red hot chili peppers mm -mm. fucking loved him he was a, such a good bassist so if you listen to any of the chili pepper song he stands out like it's and uh, do you know Pete Wentz, the Fall Out Boy? I've heard of Fall Out Boy. So I don't know Pete the Wentz, individual. like he was yeah. like the one of the stars of the group, but he was the bassist, and you know the bassists are kind of like the guy in the background. Mm. So when I started hearing like like hip hop using like Pete, I think Smoke Sack said that he used um, uh, he used the bass sample instead of an eight oh eight. Mm -hmm. And I heard that, and it was more natural, and it was, like, exactly where I, like, it just, like, hit my soul, like you were saying, yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. the way I needed it and didn't yeah. know how <laughs> I needed it. Yeah. So, those are some things that kind of, like, I've definitely geeked out Yo, on. You know what's fire, nigga? What? Sweet victory. 
Are you talking about the one that Sweet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? Sweet victory. Yo. By who? Oh, Nigga, the one on SpongeBob. And SpongeBob, bro. Oh, Remember they were in the yeah. band? The one that bolts in yeah, with uh, Big Geeks episode, yeah. Yo. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> shit is fire. You know who? Uh, Ski rapped over that. Really? Yeah. Like when Ski was rapping off oh. like every cartoon ever. Yeah, yeah. Like all the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ski is the cartoon rapper, man. Yeah, for real. He is but a that cartoon shit himself. Is fire, yo. Just like that. The piano in the beginning. In the beginning. I slowed that shit down too. I don't know what it does, yo. Maybe it's like speaking to us in a way that we don't. That we did. The different you know vibrations. Understand? Yeah. Like it, I don't know. It has to be doing something. I tried to Google that shit, like nothing came up. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. That sucks when you Google something and you're like expecting Because, like, the world doesn't answer. really understand, like, what I'm trying to talk about. Like, you know what I mean? No. Yeah. Never will. That shit sucks. But that shit, like, does so. Like, I don't know. I'm going to have to go to music therapy or some shit. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> That's fucking talk thing. to somebody, bro. Like, go to fucking, I don't know. Would you ever talk to like a professor about just music? Just like go, go into a deep conversation and mm -hmm. see, pick their brain about it. Hell yeah! From a scientific view. As long as it as, as it's like open minded, hell yeah, I do I like it. that. Cause you could get like, you could learn from so much things, dude. So mm -hmm. much people like, when you say professor, I'm just thinking of like classical music and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And like, you just learn so much from that type of shit. Yeah. All right. One second. I'm stopping this. Recording another one, and we're good. We're about to run out of time on this. Anchor only allows, like, I think one hour per thing. So Anchor. I cut it before. <laughs> Bro, I'm still using it. I love this thing. Or it's lit. Yeah, no, this is my baby. So, yeah, what else is in your brain right now? <sighs> is there anything else you want to talk about? I don't know. We got a good, like, two hours in. What should I talk about, John? Go oh, ahead, bro. Is it? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I didn't want to. Uh, cool like, thing is, usually right? I chug water, and then you gave me cold water, so I can't really chug it. No, I feel that, bro. Yeah, we. The cool thing is, we ain't live anymore, so we can chop and cut anything. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, oh, thank cool, God. Bro. All right. I yeah, love that type of like shit. It's like a two-part video. Yo, keep all of this. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it's gonna bro, be long. You know how important moments are, bro. Like. You probably do this type of shit all the time, like, or as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Like, did you ever, um, get into vlogging and shit? I remember See, you show you one. I, I did, but I feel like I don't do enough yet mm -hmm. to, like, put it down as, like, this is my form of content right now, is to have a conversation, but... We got one planned with Dodge, right? Yeah, we're, yeah. we're, we're, mm -hmm. we're gonna be doing, like, more stuff, like, I... I'm gonna go to the Palm Green and Friends show, which has like Young Vice City, like uh, a couple other members, like She's and um, Old Chevy Nuari. But then they're having people like Lonnie X come out, mm -hmm. Craig E. F. So I'm gonna go and do that. So I might bring the camera, but at the same time, the I'm not going out into the world enough to be able to broadcast my everyday life. I mean, I don't either. Life. Like I'll be at the crib all the time, or whatever, mm -hmm. or like just the same places, mm -hmm. but like a lot of those moments are like really cool to look back at years from now like even if it's the smallest See, that's shit huge. cause you start thinking like oh shit like I, I'm like oh I did that that day you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. I don't remember that or I remember that like it's it's cool to look back at that type of shit cause there's mad shit that I've like I've been recording my fucking life for a few years now and like oh, I bet it's so cool to look back at some of the footage hell yeah bro go look at the 2016 shit where I have no hair like, my hair looks like this, like, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. mad short, like, that shit is really fucking cool, you see your fucking growth, like, it's tight, yeah, bro, yeah, you gotta, like, just film every fucking thing, I know, I, I really, like, I love fucking, like, like, Delhi Status, Illegal Civ, mm -hmm. like, they just film everything, we Mike did it for, like, like the amazing. first couple seasons, yeah, like, we were just filming, like, freestyle sessions and shit, mm -hmm. I feel like it was, Definitely, I don't know, we wanted a break from the camera being mm -hmm. on. Yeah, no, nah, that, yeah. yeah, that makes sense too. But yeah. at the same time, I almost wanted it to still be on. Even yeah, when I, I mean, 
just find whatever you like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I personally like everything being filmed. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm the type of nigga where, like, if I'm dying in public, like, help me, but make sure there's somebody in the corner filming that <laughs> shit. Like, I don't know why I feel that way, but that's just... I want it to be captured. Yeah, I don't, moment. I don't know. That shit don't bother me, bro. Like, don't be disrespectful, of course, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But, like... Which people may think that's disrespectful for us. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> but, yeah. like, you know... I don't know, man. You just gotta find the fucking balance. I love shit being filmed. I haven't vlogged in, like, weeks. I'm fucking up. But, it's like, so fun, it's though. Cool. Yeah, it is. It's like... I You feel like you've you got a purpose, almost. It's like... You yeah. got your camera in your hand, and it's like, Alright, this is my task. This that is my journey. weird, though, man, being on public. Oh, I hate it. That's fucking big-ass Nikon. Like, hey, like, yeah, and fucking... <laughs> <laughs> like just spending time with my friends like, and everybody cool, else is though, looking at people you people are like oh shit you have a YouTube let me subscribe yeah. so like I'll gain subscribers that way but then you have a bunch of old people looking at you or they think and like there's something understand. important like it's just mad weird bro like I, I hate talking <laughs> to my like I hate bringing attention to me so like yeah. the fact that I have to go out in public and be the guy with the camera and then point the camera to my face and be like and so da, da, da. like mm-hmm. I don't want to be doing that but like yeah. being a vlogger you have to yeah, yeah. someone I like do you watch any of the like <clears throat> uh, David Dobrik vlogs mm-hmm. yeah but just like how everybody is on the same page mm-hmm. that's what I fuck with it's yeah. like their shit's funny too cause it's like a, a vine yeah, compilation yeah. like yeah, hell yeah. I don't know. Mad funny. They just have Miranda Cosgrove in the... Um, yeah, it surprised the yeah, Josh. I saw that, that shit. <laughs> like, of course David would be the one person to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, that shit's tight, man. I really like... person that um, inspired me to vlog more was um, uh, Pontiac May DDG. His shit oh, was yeah, amazing. yeah. D- his vlogs, DDG. his older shit, though. Like, the shit with, like... His ex-girlfriend, and even the one who he's with now, I don't know if they're together, but just like, because I started getting into DDJ around um, 2016, mm-hmm. and like, I, I loved like, his damn, yo, I gotta start vlogging, like, mm-hmm. I gotta start filming, because he was in college, like, vlogging and shit, like, it was tight. He was living the life. Yeah, hell yeah. He's living it now. Yeah, bro. His new videos, like, they be fire. He has, like, really good concepts. Yeah. yeah, I thought he was just a regular ass like trap nigga, but no. like his his videos are like, like even like it has that type of like feel to it when you watch it, but it's just more thought out to me. Mm-hmm. Like that new money video is fucking insane. Yeah, like just the way shit is like transitioning in that video. That shit. Is I was insane. Uh, yeah, the transitions are probably the biggest thing yeah. in that video. Mm-hmm. Like, it's the editing. Yeah, for real. I got some crazy fucking ideas, dude, that I haven't... I was going to ask you, like, any visuals, like... Um, probably not, y'all. I ain't even going to hold you. I wanted to, but Mm -hmm. my lens is fucked up, so... Oh, yeah, (laughs) I totally forgot. We never got around to any of that. I was disappeared for, like, a whole summer. (laughs) My bad, bro. (laughs) We had, like, a lot of bands I was supposed to record. I like music, though, man. I don't really be too big on the visuals, but, Mm -hmm. like, I could direct some shit I was about to say I could see you really direct yeah nah it would would be dope as fuck bro I still every idea is still in my head I had an idea for relationship issues that was gonna be fucking fire left you alone was gonna be fire I had an idea for love I had an idea for how do you feel um I made one to making moves that probably will never come out Mm -hmm. um I had one for Pull Up. That shit was going to be fucking crazy. Pull Up is fine. Like, every, almost every song on the album. Mm-hmm. Really. Except, like, a few. So, do you, like, start with that vision in your head and then you you write <clears throat> words to it, or... Um... Or the I don't vision know, I, comes I feel along? Like, yeah, like, I feel like usually it starts with the beat. Mm-hmm. Because the beat, like, when I'm making it, I'll... I'll see something in my head. You'll like, be telling the you know story with the percussion and with everything yeah. else. Like, I don't know. It's just, I, I don't know how I come up with the shit. Mm-hmm. But it's like, it's different sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Usually, but like I said, usually it's through the beat. Like, I'll hear the beat and I already have the scene. Like, literally, I won't even have the the lyrics written. I'll just have the scene in my head. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. oh, this shit sounds like heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? Boom, and then I'll just, I'll start writing lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Let's you alone would have been fucking no relationship issues. Probably would have been the dopest video. And how do you feel? Would have been like, I could still do it, but like, I probably won't. Music kind but of it would have been dope. Forward. And pull up would have been dope. I just had I had I'd got mad fucking ideas. Mm. And love would have been dope too. That shit would have made the fucking paper. Like we would have been in the Republican front page. I would have loved to see it. Like that's the ideas. It's not even that crazy, bro. But it's like powerful. Yeah, and I don't want to say it. Like you would just have to see it. Mm -hmm. That that may happen. Okay. That may happen because it's like the easiest one I'll shoot. Mm -hmm. And um, there was actually there was somebody that I wanted in it. Like the main person I wanted in it. Somebody told me he didn't fuck with me, and I was like, why wouldn't he? Like, what did I do? Like, yeah. I don't even talk to this nigga. What, <laughs> what did I do? But um, I had met up with him uh, like a week ago, and um, he said less work. So, yeah, I might I might do love. Cool. If it works out, because there's mad shit, like, that, that I have to put into it. Mm -hmm. But it might work. But, yeah, I don't know. And I'm and I'm I might do pull up too. I'd like to see love that. and pull up would would be pull up. I I saw as a, a visual song when I listened to it. Yeah, I, I just felt like I, yeah. I don't want to give out too much shit, but it. it I, I saw dope. you like, doing dope as fuck. moving around and pull but, up. Yo, dog. Like how do you? Oh, <laughs> how do you Sorry. feel? Would have been fucking amazing too, because I just had this sickest idea, and it's crazy because like. These ideas really weren't finished, and I don't even write them down or anything. I just have them all in my head, like they're all in like little folders in my head and shit. Yeah. And I just be pulling them shits out, like looking at them in my head, <laughs> like, and I just see like every scene like in my brain, like cut by cut. Yeah, literally all the frame songs I frame. named just now, like I still see the scene in my head. Like I still see every single thing about each and every scene in my head. Yeah. And just, yo, know, like, the fucking, there was going to be, like, or no, 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 I'm not, I'm not going to say that. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> like, I don't know, like, I, I want to give the information out, but I don't. There's just little shit that I was going to do, man, like, there was going to be, like, a video version of the song mm -hmm. for the video, you know what I'm saying? Like, just little shit. Like, slightly little creative different shit. from the album version. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, like, I make alternate versions of my songs mm -hmm. to perform them. Like, oh, I was going to make a video for Kill, too. That might happen, too. Because yeah. Mist is mobile now, and I was going to go to Hartford and do some shit. And I miss Mister. Yeah. He's, he's That's the homie. Cool I, we check up on each other, like, every two weeks. Yeah. I need yeah. to check up on him. Yeah, dude is fucking, he's amazing. He's mad, like, chill, laid back. He's, like, older brother type shit. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we were going to, I talked to him about that, doing a video for Kill. I almost wanted to do a video for Dreams too. Like I said, like almost every track on the album, I had. I like I looked at every track, and I listened back, and I was like, trying to figure out what I seen a vision for, and it was like almost every song. Mm -hmm. But now I'm like really thinking about the track list, and I was like, oh shit, Kill, Kill would probably be dope. So honestly, if I do make a fucking video, it would be Pull Up, Love, and Kill would be like the three the ones, ones that would get made. Um, the quickest like those are the ones that I, I would be able to that promise. you want to get out there yeah yeah and like I said making moves was made um I think that was made last year like I recorded it like around November or some shit like that but I don't know that that might not come up but there is some shit that I want to do with it because the video's finished mm -hmm. but um yeah and I never even I didn't really tell nobody about that shit but um, hey, if it comes, I'll be excited. That's all I can say. Yeah. I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably do something with it, maybe. I want to, because, you know, I pay for that shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, uh, something will happen. But, like, I just, I'm so used to just recording shit and making beats. So I'm always focused on the that aspect. Like, I'm just mm -hmm. focused on the music and recording that shit and putting it out. 
You're like, not thinking about the extra steps. Yeah, like just the visuals and the promoting. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking about it now. It's definitely really important, but I don't know. I wasn't thinking about that shit before because, you know, I just wanted to. I, I never even thought that I'd be able to record on my own without having to pay a dime to, like, you know, studio engineers and shit like that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I do everything independently, so it's cool, man. But as I'm getting older and experiencing more shit, I'm like, damn, there's a lot that goes into this shit. So, you know, yeah, I got, I got a lot of ideas, bro. Like, the shit that I'm saying now isn't even fucking half it's of the idea. just scratching the surface. Yeah. It's mad shit, bro. You know, because you was, you was with me, like. Yeah. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of shit that I'll, I'll probably get into in the future, that I will get into in the future. But, you know, shit is changing. So, it's like a lot of shit that I wanted to do that I can't do mm -hmm. right now. But music will always be around. That no shit never what. stops. Yeah. You'll always hear fucking... I always, like, I upload verses on Instagram, like, almost all the time. I just did one the other day. So, you know, music never fucking stops. But, like, videos and vlogging and all that shit, like, give me time. Yeah. Because there's so much shit, bro. Like, I don't have money for the way I want it to be shot. Like, literally, I don't even...